everybody welcome back to another microsoft flight simulator live stream i hope you're all doing well happy sunday we've made it through another week my friends good to see everybody here samir good to see you tired shebus welcome back robert good to see you uh fish good to see you tom 2430 good to see you man simon dash good to see you, my friend john zander's here good to see you dominic is here welcome back gary p is here good to see you, gary zach aviation welcome robert good to see you mark good to see you Captain Nolan, welcome. Luca, good to see you. Uh, Skyworker's in the house, good to see you, my friend. Unrealistically Stupid is here, welcome. Leonard Grant, good to see you. Jack M, welcome. Archie, good to see you. College Dude, welcome back. Samoa Pilot, good to see you. Sean Cassis, welcome back. AEV, good to see you. Davis Ebert says, hi. Good to see you, my friend. Welcome back. Tenure to MOBA is here. Good to see you, dude. Camel, good to see you, dude. High Tech Hub, welcome. Big S, good to see you. Airborne with Micah, good to see you, man. Welcome back. Um... That name is Borderline, so I'm not going to read your name. Hi, how are you? Good to see you. You know exactly what name in chat you are. I would suggest changing the name, man, just to be honest with you. I don't think you're going to get too much appreciation by having that as your name in chat. There's so many better names you could use. Let, let, let's, let's work on making you a new name. How about that? Captain Will, good to see you, man. Welcome back. Uh, Mark, good to see you, man. <clears throat> Fly Daddy-O, good to see you, dude. SF Aviation, welcome back. Good to see you, dude. Zachary Holtzclaw, welcome. Captain Stan, good to see you, man. Bomb Tech, good to see you. Benny Benny, good to see you, man. Real Aviation and Virtual Aviation, good to see you, man. Welcome back. Captain Zemp, good to see you, dude. Kango, good to see you. Welcome back, everybody. Thanks so much for coming to hang out today. Really do appreciate it, man. My wife said the same thing about my name. <laughs> At least, like, you kept it, like, somewhat, you know. That's, like, just full-blown. I don't give a fuck what anybody, you know, so. Um... Welcome back, uh, Cap, good to see you, Captain Lee, good to see you, Steven, good to see you, Captain Noah, welcome back, man, hope you're doing well. 
good to see you. Keith, good to see you, man. What's up, my friend? Good to see you. Clearance to Concord in 77. Just watched to say it's been a wonderful working with your aircraft and wish good luck to all the crews and we will miss you clear for takeoff. What's that? The final message to the last Concorde flight, I'm guessing it is. Monsieur Javis. Good to see you, my friend. Hope you're having a great weekend, dude. Relaxing. Not too many planes de-icing now, right? Hopefully. Just finished cooking your Japanese curry. I'm ready to chill and watch. Hey, nice, dude. Very cool. Enjoy that, my friend. Great Sunday. Sounds sounds delicious. Uh, we have a new chicken spot. I may go pick up. They have, like, chicken bowls. It's like a burrito spot, but it's like a North American... It's not burritos. It's like chicken. It's called poulet rouge. Red chicken. For any of you that live in Canada, you want to Google that. Take a look at that. It looks really good. Uh, fiance said I needed to try it, so I figured Sunday night was no better than a cheat night. Might as well go get some poulet rouge. So I'm going to go after stream and try it out. I will report back and let you know how it is. Hey, Cap, does your frame gen kill your FPS sometimes? N no, it should do the complete opposite. Yeah. How do you get the AI people? This is GSX. I think you can put exclamation point GSX in chat. Is there Chipotle in Canada? There is. It's kind of like Chipotle, like I said, but there's no burrito. It's not a burrito bowl. It's, it's a little bit weird. It uses like quinoa and brown rice and um, yeah, is it just local? I'm not sure to be honest with you. I really don't know. I will post a picture in the Discord read. It's been a long time actually since I've posted anything in the uh, in the food channel, so I will do that. How to get the frame gen to work? Exclamation point frames in chat. Click on the link. Read and follow the instructions. Unfortunately, it's one of those mods where you're going to have to read and follow instructions in order for it to work properly, man. So, uh, exclamation point frames in chat. Watch it, and you'll be good to go. Is there pico salsa? No, again, it's not burrito. It's, it's, it's not burrito. It's kind of like a burrito bowl, but it's completely different than a burrito bowl. Like, their toppings are like crispy onions, sweet gherkins, and like stuff like that. It's, it's weird. Have you noticed any ground textures missing in DX12? Yes, that is a common bug. <clears throat> that's not so much frame gen. That's more a DX12 bug. That does happen sometimes. Yes, uh, knock on wood, it doesn't happen all the time, so... There you go. Phoenix isn't letting me sync the load sheet in the EFB. Super weird. Hmm. Restart your sim, maybe, or restart the Phoenix app, I would assume. That's what it would be. Anyways, welcome aboard, friends. Thanks so much for coming to hang out today. <clears throat> Fun routing today for us. We're going to leave Dublin, head to Brussels, and then from Brussels, we're going to go to Berlin. The reason why I decided to do this is because, I don't know if you guys remember, but about two weeks ago, when I first started getting super sick with, like, this throat thing, um... I uh, we were supposed to do Berlin to Copenhagen back to Berlin and we ended up having to cancel the not cancel but uh, basically stop the stream after we landed in Copenhagen uh, so I wanted to fly back into Berlin uh, love flying into Germany always a great time ETC is always fantastic and on point in Germany um, so I figured it would be a good day to fly into Germany tomorrow we're going to be doing um, we're going to be doing some Transavia ops out of Paris Orly that is the plan for tomorrow, so super excited about that one as well. <clears throat> I saw a couple people yesterday mentioning that they wanted to see some Paris action, so we will get some Paris action in tomorrow, my friends. So without further ado, let's jump inside the aircraft. Let's get this bad boy programmed, ready to rock and roll. We're looking at about an hour and 10 minutes into Brussels today. Not a very long flight. We're actually going to have a, a pretty epic tailwind once again, kind of a quartering tailwind. Uh, so it should be great. The weather here is... Hmm, mediocre in Dublin at least it's not crazy gusting uh but it should be a great flight down to Brussels this afternoon so let's jump inside the aircraft let's start powering it up and get some things ready to go first things first battery switch to the on position we'll get our ground power turned on as well it's going to bring life to the aircraft beautiful let's go all the way up top we'll get our IRS set left side and right side beautiful continue our flows down here everything looks great we're going to get the forward fuel pump on for the EPU start everything else is good panel brightness can come up on this guy good we'll get the chime only to the auto position uh Fasten seatbelts are off for now. We'll go all the way up top here. We'll get our window heat to the on position. Beautiful. Come down here. Probe heats and hydraulic pumps can stay off for now. Pardon me. We're going to... Packs are in the off position. Isolation valve is open. APU bleed is off. Engine bleeds are on. We are planning a cruise altitude of 35,000 feet today. So I'm going to bug up 350 in our pressurization panel. We're going to have a quick little look-see here at the airport elevation into Brussels. Uh, airport elevation, 175 feet. So we'll set that in this guy for about 200 feet there. Good. We'll make sure that our logo lights are on and everything looks good there to me, friends. Beautiful. Let's come down here. We'll get some main panel brightness up on this guy. Beautiful. Let's come down here again to the FMC. I'm going to get some background brightness, some EDS floods. And I'll get some main panel brightness up on this guy as well. Wonderful. Going to turn our screen brightness down here just a little bit. 
find everything gets a little bit washed out if you leave your brightness on max all the way so we'll turn those guys all the way there beautiful let's come to our electronic flight bag quickly we'll go to the flight bag we're going to import from simbrief you can see we are ryanair for hotel golf yeah, boss. Bond hey can i are wondering how the tb is today good very good yeah yeah much better feeling much better you know what's crazy man i've really been starting to like think about you guys as well as my fiance have really been like nailing home that something is happening i've either changed something or something is happening in my life that is causing this and the only thing that i can think of is i changed deodorant and i did some research and you have lymph nodes under your armpits you have lymph nodes in your groins and you obviously have your lymph nodes up here my lymph nodes have been what have been killing me and i'm wondering seriously wondering here if all of this has been caused by a sensitivity or an allergic reaction to the deodorant so no antiperspirants terrible for you deodorant's fine i don't do antiperspirant don't block sweat you gotta sweat you gotta do that um but anyways i've been thinking about the weird things about how you know i'll, I'll feel better for like three or four or five days and then I'll get like, you know, it's, it's like I'm hit again with this thing for like three or four days where like I can't swallow and my, my, uh, my lymph nodes are all swollen and tender and then I'll be fine for like three, four, five days and then all of a sudden I'll go back and um, anyways, maybe, I don't know, Mark, but <clears throat> the, this is the, uh, this is the, the, the newest conclusion or the newest idea that I have. So anyways, I've, I've stopped using that deodorant. I'm back using my old deodorant and I will report back because like I said, man, I've been feeling better now. Um, this is day, um, I would actually say this is probably like day one of like really starting to feel better. So we're gonna start seeing over the next couple of days, it, it would be indicative that after, you know, two or three or four days about feeling good and feeling okay, I would start to feel like shit again. So fingers crossed that this is the culprit or it may be one of the culprits that is causing this or it's a combination of things. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, the new, that's the new idea and thing that popped into my brain the other day when I was walking Daisy. I think it was last night actually, I was walking Daisy and I was like, I'm trying to think of anything that I've changed over the last two and a half weeks. Um, I used to use Old Spice and I switched to a like, I forget what it's called. It's like Simple Man Jack or something it's called. Anyways, I tried it. I, I, I enjoyed it and uh, there was far less like ingredients in it, but obviously it's there's something going on. So uh, anyways, I don't know if that's what's causing it, but anyways, I, I, I'm, I'm willing to take a shot at about anything right now because to me it just doesn't make sense how, like I said, I, I feel perfectly fine for like two, three days and then all of a sudden it just comes back to like full force. And I, I wish I could explain this to you guys. Like my, my throat gets so swollen that even just like talking, moving my tongue, swallowing is, is a, it, 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 it hurts to no degree. Like a pain of a level of pain that I cannot describe. Um, and then it'll clear up and then I'll be perfectly fine for a couple days. And then all of a sudden it'll kind of like flare up again. And then I'll be, feel like shit for like three, four days. And then all of a sudden it is, uh, you know, it, it, it flares up again after feeling fine for three or four days. So, <clears throat> um, it flared up this week, obviously, as you guys know, it flared up on Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I mean, yesterday I started to feel a little bit better, but like Wednesday night, Thursday and Friday was just brutal. Um, so now we'll see. We'll see if, if I don't get another flare up and we've obviously um, switched using the new deodorant that I'm using. That's the only thing in my life that's changed. It's the only thing that I've added in the last like two and a half, three weeks was just that deodorant. So anyways, I just I, I it when I read that your lymph nodes are connected through your armpits in your groin to your actual lymph nodes up here. That's when something clicked into my brain like, hmm. I'm wondering if this deodorant is causing some type of reaction or anyways, that's the logic for today, chat, and we're going to run with it. We're going to hopefully see, hopefully this week we're feeling better. We've thrown the deodorant away. The deodorant's gone away. We're back using Old Spice. 
So we'll uh, we'll see how it goes. Um, let's go ahead and set the payload in the aircraft good. We'll go ahead and set the fuel in the aircraft good. We're going to go ahead and select the route. We'll give that about 15 seconds to run through it. So um, I can hear the whistle in my head. That one. <laughs> Dumbest commercials ever. Hey, dude, it works, though, man. It works. <laughs> those, are, those are good commercials. Let's go ahead and load our route. It's going to do uh, route uplink loading. Give that another five or ten seconds. Maybe some stuff on the farm that's causing it. Again, though, Benny, nothing has changed on the farm, man. There's nothing new there. There's, there's nothing that I'm doing out of the ordinary that would all of a sudden just make me go crazy. Did you get a culture of your throat? I did not, Mark. They tested for... Uh, they t originally I did, I don't know if like a, a, a culture, like they culture and then they go and send it off to a lab. No. Um, they did a COVID test. They did a strep test. They did a mono test and they did another test and all came back negative. Um, which then led to believe the doctor was, um, the doctor basically described it as I had a sinus infection the sinus infection then moved to the back of my throat, causing post-nasal drip, which was causing my irritation in the throat. Which at the time, yeah, I was sick and that all made sense. But for that to go away, and then like five days later just come back in full force, again, it, something's not, something is irritating it, right? It's not just happening by itself. <clears throat> something is irritating this and it's causing an irritation. Um, so, like I said, man, I, this is the best best guess that I can have. So, what is the not so good deodorant? It was called Simple Man Jack, I believe, and it's a newer newer deodorant. Um, and uh, anyways, like I said, I'm always constantly looking. I, deodorant's one of those things where you kind of need it, especially if you're a big sweaty boy like me. Um, you kind of need deodorant. So it's not really an option not to wear deodorant, but I'm always looking for like the best or most natural deodorants. I don't like like aluminum. There's a lot of aluminum and deodorants and stuff like that. So I try and avoid those. Um, by the way, Davis, I owe you a bean boozled chat. They're back. $5 donation gets you a bean boozled. So I have to give Davis a bean boozled. Once I get the aircraft ready to go and we get our clearance, we'll do a bean boozled. There it is right there. $5 or more gets to watch me hopefully not die, but Bean Boozled is back, friends. Uh, as per your request, I didn't want to do this. This is on you guys. So um, I always said it for every five. I'm not telling you to donate. I'm just saying for every $5 or more donation, we will do a Bean Boozled. Not telling you to donate. Keep your money. Just saying. If you are going to donate any donation over $5, you can't give me $20 and expect me to eat four of them. That's not how it works. If you want to see me wa eat four of them, you better do four or $5 donations. Um, anyways, that's the plan. So Davis, I owe you a bean boozled. What is bean boozled? Uh, jelly beans that have the potential to be absolutely disgusting. So we've got buttered popcorn or rotten egg. That's the one that fucking kills me. Birthday cake or dirty dishwater? Peach or barf? Pomegranate or old band-aids? What's this one? Juicy pear or nose boogers? Ugh. Uh, cappuccino or liver and onions? Ugh. Strawberry banana or... Strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish? That's the one, dude. The dead fish and the rotten egg. Uh, <laughs> can already... Ugh. Joe DeVark, thank you for 30 months. Thank you very much for support, my friend. I appreciate you. Incredibly kind. Doink. 17 months. Just put deodorant on 365 times a day for a year. That'll solve it, right? <laughs> thank you for your support, man. Alcimus John with 29 months is prepping for a three-day work week. Hey. You go, John, we like that. Thanks for the support, guys. I appreciate you all the membership milestones. Of course, Davis coming in with the $5. We'll do a bean boozled here in a minute for Davis. Um, okay, everything's done there. Let's go ahead and grab our clearance. We do have ETC online again today. We've got tower up. So we'll go turn to 118.6 for tower frequency. We'll tune him up, get him ready to go. 1186 is up. Good. We'll go ahead and grab ADIS information. Foxtrot. Um... 
and that's it we'll grab foxtrot we'll grab our flight plan which is here dexy to juliet copy we'll throw that up into here we'll request that and we have info what was it info foxtrot info foxtrot uh okay dublin tower very good evening ran air four hotel golf adis information foxtrot ifr to brussels please Wonderful Hotel Golf, clear to Brussels. Hello, Dexon to Juliet, departure, runway two at right. Initial flying flight level nine or zero, squawk six six one one, departure frequency with Unicom. All right, Ryanair, four hotel golfs cleared into Brussels. Dexy to Juliet, departure two eight right, initial climb flight level nine zero, squawking six six one one, departures on Unicom one two two decimal eight. Wonderful Hotel Golf, read back correct. All right, beautiful. Read back is correct. Wonderful. Who do we got here? We've got uh, Joan of Arc. God damn it. <laughs> With the $5 donation. Thank you, Joan. Appreciate you, my friend. Yeah, okay, there's number two. We've got Mike gifting five members to the channel. Huge no floaties to you, Mike. Thank you very much for support, dude. Incredibly kind. Truly do appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, let's get some love and chat, guys, for Mike gifting five members. And we got Bomb Tech coming in with the $5 donation as well. It says, come on, nose boogers. Uh, you guys are killing me. Huge no floaties to you, Bomb Tech. Huge no floaties to you, Joan of Arc. Thank you very much, Mike, as well, with the five gifted members. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's go to our departure page here. We're planning for the Dexy to Juliet. Hey, what? Departures, Dexy to Juliet is what we're looking for here, chat. Dexy to, I just saw it. Dexy to Juliet out of 28 right. We'll execute that. Good. Arrivals into Brussels today. Uh, let's see what the weather is doing here in Brussels. Weather winds are 270 at 7. Um, what does it take us to? We're going to be to Kirky. I guess we'll take 25. Mm, 25 right? 25 right? ILS from Kirky? Yeah, I guess we'll take that one. So we'll take 25 right. Uh, localizer, ILS, whatever, Zulu Being or Yankee if there from is Kirky. birthday cake slash dirty dish water. Poor favor. God damn it. Gary P with a $5. I owe four. Oh no, dude. Four bean boozleds already. Sorry, Huge no floaties to you, Hunt. man. God damn it. Joe DeVark's donation coming in as well. Uh oh, we're in trouble, man. We are in trouble. All right. Uh, the arrival in is going to be the Cock 8 Alpha. Chat, be careful with that Come one. Come on, nose boogers. God damn it. Bob Tech with the five as well. Cock 8 Alpha for the ILS Yankee 2 5 right. Uh, we do not want the flow transition. We want the. Yeah, no, flows all the way down here. We don't want that one. So we'll go ahead and execute that. If we go to legs page. Um, should take us from Kirky to okay so it should go Kirky to Bun it's not doing it correctly so we'll put that in ourselves Kirky to Bun and then from Bun to Uveti uh, so Kirky to Bun the Bun is going to be the Bruno VOR I believe Bruno right uh, yeah Bruno VOR 3000 feet all right so select the top one, which is the Bruno VOR, and we'll execute that, and then it's direct Uveti. All right, cool. There's the approach chat. Everything is looking good there. Sweet. Let's go to our NITREF. We're going to do our Count perfect one. NIT request. Uh, Travis with a $5 donation as well. Thank you very much, Travis. I appreciate you, dude. So how many is that now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. God damn it. We've got Mike coming in, that's going to be seven. We've got Travis coming in, that's going to be eight. There's no way that's 11, hold on. We've got Davis, Gary, Travis times two, four, Ken, five, Travis, six, Mike, seven. Oh no, it is. Oh no, Ken, yours did go through. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We're up to 12. Oh no, chat. Ugh, I hope, I hope I get 12 good ones. It, I know it's impossible at this point, but I hope I get 12 good ones. Oh fuck. Okay, well, you know what? We got it. Chat, keep chat. No, it's not 15. Stop it. 
It's 12 of them. Count Stop. Three for the flow. Count three. Oh, no, dude. <sighs> All right, chat. Here it is. It's got a little spinny wheel. Here they are. Look. Here they are. It's got a little spinny wheel. So we got it. We got to spin the wheel. Oh, no. Scott coming in as well. Hold on. We need a better spin than that, Captain. Thank you. Let me spin. Come on. Stop. What? Why is it getting... Hold on. I think I have to hold it down. Why are you no spin? It's like stuck up on a side. Hold on. All right. Okay, it just spun. It landed on... Hold on, I'm going to try and show you so we keep this fair. It landed on the green one, which is going to be... Juicy pear or booger? Chat. Ugh. And here it is. I don't know if you guys can see that because of the green screen, but here's the green one, chat. Juicy pear or booger? Don't you even know what bean boozled is? Fuck. Couldn't even, like... That's so gross, dude. It tastes like... Uh, it's so... Who invented this thing, man? Like, what kind of sick fucking twisted mind would invent something like this for people? <clears throat> Ew. That was a booger. It tastes like... It tastes like grass and dirt. I guess that's what I they're trying to is assume. I hope as the Ryanair seat. <laughs> Damn it. Um, there's so many donations, I don't even know what happened, dude. Oh my god. How many are we up to now, chat? Travis, thank you for all of the support. Fuck you. <laughs> thank you, Travis. I appreciate you. Ken, thank you as well. We've got Scott with the five, Travis with another five, Average Beaver with a $7 donation. I got to do another one. We got to get another one other way. We have 18 to do, so 17 left, right? 17 left. All right, I'm spinning it. Oh no, this is the one I've been dreading, chat. Oh no. Liver and onions or cappuccino? Chat, if I get a liver and onions, you may actually see me puke. I hope you fully understand this. Here it is. Liver and onions or cappuccino? Fuck, this is the one I really didn't want it to land on, man. I'm kind of okay with the other ones. This is the one I'm really, really... Please, 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 please be a cappuccino. Please, 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 please be a cappuccino. Oh, no. <laughs> Chat. Get, get over with. Get over with. Get, get over with. Oh, my fucking God. Oh, no, 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 no. Chat, we can't do that one again. We can't do that one again. <laughs> oh, boy. How could this be a thing? The sickening, sickening. Ugh! I knew it was going to be that, too. Oh, dude, the taste that it's leaving in your mouth. Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. That's not good, chat. That's not healthy. Okay, one more. We got 16 left. One more. Spinning, spinning. Don't. Please don't land. Okay, good. Okay, chat. It's a red one. Pomegranate juice or old bandage? We're two for two with shitting ones. Pomegranate juice or old bandage? Okay, we'll do this one and then we'll push back. Please give me a pomegranate. Like this is an, I'm going to wholeheartedly believe that these are all bad if this isn't pomegranate. Pomegranate, please, pomegranate. <laughs> pomegranate, Chad. I win. Okay, good. Pomegranate. Mm, that shit's delicious. Okay, good. We're done for now. That's three. <laughs> Choking, I'm dying, sorry. That's three. Pomegranate, that shit was good. That's washing out the liver and onions. Good shit. Okay. 6.9 on the fuel, good. N1 limit today. Uh, we got to jump over here to our electronic flight bag. We got to do some performance numbers quickly. Don't worry, chat. I know six, 15 left, 15 left. 
Um, import from here, good. We're going off of 28 right. Gonna import from aircraft. 68.9, we're pretty heavy actually today. Let's import the live weather and we'll calculate our V-speeds. 91.3, takeoff D-rate, cell temp, 50 degrees. So we'll throw a, f was it 50 degrees? Yeah, 50 degrees there, 43, 45, 49. So select our takeoff, flaps will be set to five degrees, CG weight was 19.3, which confirms here, 19.3, 43, 45, 49. 43, 45, 49, everything looks good here, cool. Um, Jugal Stump dropping the five euro as well, says, I guess I'm late to the party. Oh no, man. Oh no. <laughs> Huge no floaties too. Now we're at what, 17, 16? I think we're at 16 now, but he just donated another one, so I think we're at 17 that I have to do now. Because I just did, th no, we were at 18, I did three. Now he put this one, so 16. Okay, 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 okay. Thank you, Jugal Stump. I appreciate you, my friend. Everybody as well with the $5 donations. If I, if I didn't catch you, I apologize. Kyle with seven months is no floaties. Thank you for that, man. Appreciate you, Kyle. I missed that one. Thank you, dude. What are you eating and what are you doing? It's called Bean Boozled. If you've never heard of it, it's called Bean Boozled. So you have this little card. It's like a, it's like a party game type thing. You have this little spinner and you spin the spinner and it lands on a random one and you have to choose. There's there's 50-50 chance that it's going to taste really good or it's going to taste really bad. So, for example, you can land on one. One is dirty dishwater. One is vomit. One is stinky socks, old bandages, stink bug. That's another one that I hope we don't land on. A stink bug, chat. <laughs> Liver and onions, rotten eggs, nose boogers, dead fish, toothpaste, and then the good ones could potentially be berry blue, strawberry banana, juicy pear, buttered popcorn, late to the party. cappuccino, toasted marshmallows, pomegranate, which we already did, which was really good, tutti frutti, peach, and birthday cake. So the option, it's a 50-50 option of whether it's going to be good or whether it's going to be bad. So I like the bean boozled, which include the pop-up container rather than the spinner. Um, I saw that one, Dan. It was far more expensive than the one with the spinner for the same amount. It was like an extra like $7 on Amazon. So I just got the one with the little spinner. Um, I would say strawberry, from previous times that we've done this, the strawberry banana and the berry blue were the best two, in my opinion. Those are, those are usually the best ones. Okay, we're good with that. That's good. Let's go upstairs. Let's go ahead and spool up the APU. While we we'll spool up the APU, we'll do one more before departure. All right, chat. Uh, how many are we at? We're at 16 now. 16 of these. Okay, I'm holding the spinner. The spinner doesn't like to be held for some reason. Okay, I gotta put it down. Spinner is spinning and it has landed. No, dude, stop. <sighs> Liver and onions or cappuccino again, chat. Liver and onions or cappuccino. What do you think we got? 17? I'm at 17 now? Oh, fuck. Okay, well, this, after this one, 16. God damn it. Why did I, why did I agree to this chat? This is not healthy. Okay. Liver and onions or cappuccino? Please be cappuccino. We're two for one. We're going to shitty one first. So we have had two shitty ones, one good one. Two for one. Please be cappuccino. Please be cappuccino. Dude, that's so fucking nasty. I can taste the liver. I can taste the onions. Why? Why, Chad? Why is this a thing? Who made this? <laughs> that's got to be the worst tasting anything I think I've ever had. A candy that tastes like liver and onions. Like, I, I don't even think I would wish that upon my worst enemy. Ugh. It's, giving, it's making my fucking hair on my arms stand up, dude. Ugh. 
That is nasty. EPU bleed on, EPU gen on. Okay, one more. What are we at? 16? I got 16 more. All right, hold on. Spinning. Come on, please be something good. <gasps> it's a new one, chat. What's this? Uh, strawberry, banana, or dead fish? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Which one does it look like? Okay, it's that one. Strawberry, banana, or dead fish? Is it that one? Hold on. No, it's not that one. There's a couple of them that look the same. I think this is the peach one. Strawberry banana. Is it the pink one? Yeah, it's the pink one. Yeah, okay. Strawberry banana or dead fish, chat. Please be, please be, please, please, please be strawberry banana. Please be strawberry banana. Mmm, chat. So good. Mmm. Can we get that one again? Mmm. That one's delicious, chat. Yeah, buddy. Strawberry banana. Where are we? Three for two? Hey, oh. Oh, good one. All right. Uh, GSX, prepare for pushback and departure. We'll do another one here in a second. That, I could eat that all day long. If you give me give me a whole package of that one, that strawberry banana smoothie, it actually tastes like a strawberry banana smoothie. That shit was good. 6611, which is great, because it got that disgusting liver and onion taste out of my mouth. Um, that's set. That's good. We've got that. We're ready for push and start. Let's come down here. I'm going to go to... Ground services, release the ground power, remove the wheel chocks. They're going to yell at me. Let's put our park brake on. Good. Um, okay. One more chat. What are we, we're at 14 now. 14 to go. Spinner is spinning. And it has landed on. Bro, stop. Liver and onions again. Fuck, man. Liver and onions or cappuccino? It has to... We, what are we at? Three? Two liver and onions? This has to be cappuccino, chat. We're at 15 of them? God damn it, Dan. Shh, stop counting so well. All right. Well, after this, we've got 14. This is number 15. Okay. Liver and onions or cappuccino? Please. Bro. Why? How? Describe to you how nasty that is. Ugh. Kyle, thank you for 33 months. I appreciate you, man. How many of each color? None. They're all. V There's a couple that are similar. Like you've got the peach one, but it actually looks like a peach. You've got the. What's this one? You've got the birthday cake and then you've got the banana smoothie but they all kind of look like like the banana smoothie looks like pink the peach actually looks like a peach you, you can you can tell the difference between them you can tell the difference okay 14 left we're gonna do one more before we push ourselves back one more chat oh it hit my finger hold on spinning what is this one? Berry blue or toothpaste, chat? I mean, I can live with that one. Berry blue or toothpaste? At least it'll wash my mouth out. That nasty liver and onions, even if it's toothpaste. Berry blue or toothpaste? Let's go. Yeah, it's toothpaste, chat. Ugh. At least it's toothpaste. That's still gross. I can still taste the liver and onions in my mouth. Mixed with the toothpaste. Blech. Let me know when you're over Angsley, North Wales. I live there, Cap. Want to see what it looks like on the flight sim? Uh, okay, I'll do my best. 
Oh, yeah. Um, how many are there? Oh, I don't know, dude. I would say there's probably 20 of each kind, I would think, Jarvis. At least. Probably like 20 of each kind, I would think. It's quite a bit in here, man. It's quite like a... It's quite a big, like, thing. I don't know. There's a lot in there. Okay. We're gonna request our push and start. Stop fucking around with Bean Boozled. Um, let's go upstairs. Seatbelt sign. Emergency exits are armed. Seatbelt sign is on. Fuel pumps are on. Anti-collision light is on. Hydros are on. EPU gen is on. Let's go. This isn't a Ryanair 25 minute turn. Damn right it's not. <laughs> We're being boozled. Dial Ryanair 4 Hotel Golf ready for push and start. Uh, I believe we're at stand 1... Uh, I don't even know what stand we're at. 110. Ryanair 4 Hotel Golf, push back on request for Callie Bastorty. Thank you. Okay, well, push back on request. Mike, thank you for the support. Yacht Amper goes on after engine start, Alf Polo. Um, huge no floaties to you, Mike. Thank you for your support, dude. I appreciate you. You know what that means, though. We got time. We got to do another one. We're at 14 left. 14 left, chat. Spin it. Birthday cake or dirty dishwater? I think that's this one. Looks like it has little, no it's not that one, it's got like little birthday specs on it. It's this one. Alright chat, birthday cake or dirty dishwater? Mike, thank you for the gifted membership man, appreciate you dude. Ew. That may be worse than liver and onions. It tastes like dirty, wet cloth. Ew. That's nasty. Ew. You know, like when you leave, like when you wash dishes and the cloth doesn't dry completely, and it has that like weird. Dingy like smell to it. That's what that tastes like. That's fucking nasty, dude. Who came up with these flavors? Like, that's what I want to know, man. Like, who's sitting there being like, yeah, let's make a dirty dishwater flavor? What? Oh, chat, we need to do another one. How many left? 13 left. 13 left, chat. We're doing another one. 13 left. Please be something good. I fucking quit, dude. Liver and onions and cappuccino again. This thing has to be rigged. It has to be going, like, specifically to this one. <sighs> Liver and onions or cappuccino. Welcome to Dublin. The Cape right hand right here. This right, has to be right, cappuccino, yeah, chat. We can't be four and away. Either. Four and away. It cannot be the fourth one of... That's just cheating at this point. If this isn't cappuccino, I'm going to be mad. Bro. Why? They're so fucking nasty, dude. <laughs> that is not healthy. I don't care, man. Wh whoever made that is sick in the head. That's not normal. Like, my brain doesn't know how to comprehend this. Like, how does it... It literally tastes like old onions and, like... What I remember of liver tasting like when I was a kid. God damn, that's disgusting. That has to be the worst one, man. Has to be the worst one. 
Um, Yeti, 41 months is why are you playing Beam? Because chat has been requesting it, man. We used to do this all the time back in the day. Chat has been requesting to see it. Ugh. I don't know. It's because this guy's not moving, so we can't push. I don't know. Oh. Firefly All right, twelve left, chat. We got to do another one while we're waiting. Please, for the love of God, don't, don't be. Juicy pair or boogers again? Please be a juicy pair. We need something good in our lives. Please be juicy pair. Juicy pair, chat. Come on, juicy pair. Mm. Uh, Pablo, two issues, really. Juicy pair. <laughs> it's so crazy because the good flavors are so fucking good. <laughs> Ma'am. Mm. Captain Michael, with the five euro huge no floaties to you, man. Add into the pain. We were going to be down to 11, but now we're back up to 12. Thank you for your support, Michael. I appreciate you, man. I think we'll finally make it through. We'll finally make it through. That one was good. Juicy Pear may be the best one we've had so far, Chad. That is a juicy, juicy pear. I taste yummy. Juicy Pear for the wind. The change in your mood from minute to minute is hilarious. Well, dude, we're going like... <laughs> I cannot describe to you what it's like eating e eating the liver and onions. Okay, 12 left. We're going to do another one because we're sitting here. We're waiting. We might as well get these out of the way. Another one is... What is I'm this? I'm so sorry. Oh, no. Banana smoothie or dead fish? Release this is the one we've been dreading. Banana, banana smoothie or dead fish. Which one is that? This one. No. That's the peach. Banana smoothie or dead fish. This is not going to be good, dude. If this is dead fish, we may have to get up and walk away here, chat. Banana smoothie, dead fish. Give me two in a row. I can still taste the liver and onions in my mouth, by the way. Banana smoothie or dead fish? Dublin, good day. France, today, one, three, Romeo, stand, two, zero, six, point, your information, golf, request and clearance to Nantes. France, today, one, three, Romeo, hello, to Nantes. Pesce, two, Juliet, departure, Romeo, two, eight, right. Initial flying, flight level nine or zero, squawk, six, six, three, five, departure frequency with the Unicom. Oh, no. That may be worse than the liver and onions, chat. I can smell it from my mouth. That legitimately tastes... You know the way dead fish smells? when you're like walking along the ocean and you get that whiff of like a dead fish on the beach. That's what I just ate. Dude, that's not nice, man. Oh, dude. That one's brutal. Ugh. I actually kind of want to go with liver and onions over that one. Oh my god. Umer with 10 gifted members. Huge enough floaties to you, Umer. Thank you very much for the support, my friend. I appreciate you. That is incredibly kind. Man, I'm going to just absolutely hammer through bottles of water today, chat. I'm be pissing like a racehorse. Dude, the taste that is in my mouth right now, 
I've got liver and onions on one side, dead fish on the other side, and juicy pear somewhere in between. We can't push back until these guys are pushed back, guys. Don't worry. He knows we're ready for push. There's not much we can do. Jacob coming up in a business class as well. Thank you so much, Umer. Thank you very much, Jacob, as well. Welcome to the green team. Guys, if you got a gift of membership, please make sure to say thank you. Ugh. How many are we at now? 11? 11 left? Okay, one more. One more before we get pushed back. Please be something good. Buttered popcorn or rotten eggs. Are we cleared for pushback? I think uh, GSX goes Delta Sierra, I think, for us. Okay. Park brakes. Released. Okay. Popcorn or rotten egg? As we start our pushback. Please be buttered popcorn. Please be buttered popcorn. Mmm. Buttered popcorn shot. <laughs> Guess who's winning this time? It's only fair. I keep getting screwed over by these shitty flavors. That legitimately tastes like buttered popcorn. That's good. Get that around the mouth. It's okay, we got 10 left. At this rate, we'll probably get 8 bad ones and 2 more good ones. Bleed pressure's good. Let's go engine number 2 over to ground. Turn that up for you guys. Start valve open. N2 percentage on the rise. How's your buttered, how's your buttered liver and dead fish? That actually really tastes good. I'm kind of surprised. It legitimately tastes exactly like movie popcorn butter. Like it's good. Introduce field number two. The authentic ride air meal service. <laughs> this reminded me of the good old days. Well, that's kind of why I understand why people wanted to do that, you know? So. 10 left, we'll put them at cruise. Yeah, no more. We'll, we'll, we'll put them at cruise for sure. I'll close the little box here. We'll put that away. We've got 10 more to do at cruise. Do it. Please, no more liver and onions or... What was that other one we had? Dead fish. Fuck. The contrast, that's what I'm saying. It's the contrast between, like, the potential of it being, like, strawberry banana smoothie and a dead fish. It's, like, 11 more? God damn. Damn it, Travis. <laughs> Never thought I'd get upset about getting donations, but yet here we are. <laughs> Travis, huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you for the support, dude. I appreciate you. Engine number one over to ground. Love a little rotten fish with my medium bush. Thanks for being a good sport. No. <laughs> Jesus, that donation. That's a loaded one. Huge no floaties to you, Travis. Thank you for the continued support, my friend. I appreciate you, dude. Looking for 25% and two before we introduce fuel. Here comes 25%. We'll introduce fuel. Engine number one. Thank you for the support, Travis. I appreciate you, man. We're back up to 11. Thoughts on Active Sky? Um, I'm curious to see how it's going to run, Lilo. I don't know if it's a day one purchase. I hope we get to see some like reviews or like some 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 videos about it before we decide whether it's going to be like a day one purchase. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'm a little bit uh, a little bit skeptical. It's taken this long to create something. I don't know. We'll have to see. Just knowing how the SDK for the weather is locked down, I'm wondering how they did it. That's what I'm kind of more so wondering how they did it. Do you use frame gen mod? Correct. Are you getting a cow manure? Dude, I feel like these flavors are far worse than the last time we did them, to be honest with you. Go flaps five degrees. Simon with the five pounds. Huge no floaties to you, Simon. We've got to do 12 now. Ay, 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 chat. Well, I guess we're getting our we're getting our lunch worth of jelly beans today, chat. <laughs> Thank you for the support, Simon. I appreciate you, man. 12. Oh, boy. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Mike coming in with a five as well. Here's no floaties to you, Mike. Thank you for the support, man. I appreciate you. Now we're up to 13. It's like we, it's like we didn't even do anything, Chad. Oh, no. Huge no floaties to you, my friend. There's the triple seven departing, chat. You guys were screaming to see. There he is right there. No livery on it, though. It's a little bit weird. But there he is departing. The trip. Maybe he's doing some testing. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Huge no floaties to you, man. Thank you for the support. Definitely finishing that box today. I, there's a hundred plus in the box. I hope not. For my sake, Just I hope because. not. Oh, man. Thanks so much, Simon. I appreciate you. And Mike, thank you as well, man. Appreciate you, dude. Stoned stream soon? Is this your first day being here, sir? I am stoned all the time. Hello. <laughs> Uh, let's go Love Gen video, 1 on. Captain. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Appreciate you. Uh, Pax over to the auto. Isolation valve is uh, uh, over to auto. AP bleed is off. Engine bleeds are on. Uh, engine generators are on. AP goes to the off position. Engine starts, which is over to continuous. 35,000 set and check. Pressurization channel is uh, good. Pressurization panel, sorry. Pro peats on. Yacht ampers on. Everything looks good. Flaps are set 5 degrees. Trim value 5.7. Short, two. So select that 5.7 on the trim should be good right about there and auto brake goes to rto flight director left side flight director right side auto throttle v nav l nav oh that doesn't seem to kick on lately but we're good to go cool oh no <laughs> jen coming in with a five dollar donation as well just keep adding to the total i see how this is going here guys i see how this is going it's ruthless, man. Oh, no. Jen with the $5 says, I'm laughing so hard, I'm crying. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jen. I appreciate you. And we got... You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring a box of these down to... Uh, I'm going to bring a box of these down to the expo, and I'm going to make you guys... You guys are going to come up and say hi to me? Yep. Guess what, chat? You want to come and say hello? You got to spin the spin the wheel. That's it. It's only fair. LNAV didn't engage yet. It's been doing that to me. Uh, look, it'll engage briefly and then turn itself off. It turns on immediately after departure, so I think it's just a... I don't know if it's a little bug or something going on with that. Shit, we didn't do... Yes, we totally did block time chat. No problem. Tower on your 4 tail golf ready to taxi uh, to it. 4 tail golf, follow the company off your left. Taxi Charlie, Kilo, short November 2. Follow the company, Charlie, Kilo, short November 2. Right here, 4 tail golf. Okay, park break is off, friends. Let's get her moving. Chris, dropping the $5 donation as well. Thank you very much, Chris. 15. I'm laughing so hard that I'm crying. Oh, no. 15 of them we have to do? It's like we started at the beginning all over again. Oh, no. Oh, no, chat. Charlie Kilo, November 2. <laughs> This is chat's fault, man. Chat suggested that we do this, and I gotta blame chat on this one. Dan, you're off the hook. This is legitimately chat's fault. Chat was the one that suggested that we do this bean boozled. I caved. We did the bean boozle. Man. Chat, you know what? I'm blaming you for this one. Dan's off the hook. Chat's getting blamed for the shenanigans. 15 more bean boozleds, chat. Ay, ay, ay. Do you love it, really? I Listen, I love the idea. I love having fun with you guys, but I gotta be honest with you, some of these are absolutely fucking nasty. Like, the rotten eggs and the liver and onions, like, the dead fish. Like, it literally tastes like dead fish and liver and onions. I don't know how they do it. I don't know how they do it. It's... Not nice. This is not nice. Well, like I said, whoever came up with these flavors, I, they're not normal. They need to be put in like an institution or something like that. Like, I don't know how you come up with like a, a liver and onion flavored jelly bean and think like you're just a, a normal, real scientists. This is what we're really hard at work at, by the way, guys. <laughs> Fuck NASA and all those other things. <laughs> this, this is where the real scientists come to work. Meds with bean boozled. Yeah, I mean, this is the palate cleanser at this point.
yeah, I'm not looking flavored to the vomit one. Um, I think we've done all the other, like, super nasty ones. I honestly think the dead fish was by far the worst one. I want to say dead fish, liver and onions, and dirty sink have been the worst ones. We haven't had rotten egg yet, though, and I feel like that one's going to be bad. I'm just going to leave, like, that sulfury taste in your mouth. Which vape? I got a new one, actually. It's the, uh... Ha, uh, tribal. Tribal vape. It's really nice, man. It's the, uh... I don't know what it is, but it's, it's the little... It's a little brick. It's incredible, dude. 650 milliamp USB-C charging. Gives you all the information, how many puffs you have on the front of it, your voltage, how long you're holding your puffs. It's pretty cool. I really, really, really like it. If you're in Canada, I'd say get one. Phoenix versus Breedock flavor. Jesus. I think we know which one's winning that one. You think that's bad? Try Ryanair lasagna for 20 euro and it tastes like frozen diesel and cow shit. <laughs> Welcome to Ireland. <laughs> that does sound brutal to me. Right four, five, yeah, that sounds absolutely right. terrible. Guys, if you are enjoying this stream, you want to see me do more fun things like this, like being boozled, I'm sure there's other things that we can find out there. Don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. We're going for 300 likes today. Uh, there's over 300 people watching, so it should be pretty simple to do that. So if you haven't done so, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up. Uh, the blue one is berry blue or toothpaste. Yes. Right up behind Ryanair Fort Togolf. I'm already at cruise. I wait for you in Brussels. Going to switch over to Brussels A320 for a Berlin flight. There you go, man. You've been to Dublin twice. So green. It's beautiful. Nice. Oh, no. Time and Mike with the 20 bones. Huge no floaties to you, Mike. Thank you, dude, for your support. I appreciate you. Adding to the list of pain is Diamond Mike with that $20 donation. Appreciate you, Mike. Thank you for your support, dude incredibly kind thank you thank you thank you buddy guys let's get some love and chat for mike dropping the fat 20 dollar dono uh that counts as one no that does not count as four i already went over the rules five dollar donations you cannot donate 20 and get me to do four of them no nope. using a sound mod for the pmg seems like it sounds different to right cleared for takeoff thanks for one fully tc you have a great evening again around your four took off you too buddy all right let's go to Yoke Cam. Thanks so much again, Mike. I appreciate you, dude. Let's get our throttles up to about 40%. Stabilized. Sounds are up. To the departure, friends. Chrono's on. Go, guy. It's like nose down pressure. Takeoff power is set. Thank you. Neutral. A little bit into the wind. Correction. Rotate. Beautiful wind correction there, chat. Positive rate, gear up. Positive rate of climb. What's up, Cat? Glad to see you on this Sunday. Just wanted to express my gratitude and thank you for everything you do. Glad hey. to call you my best friend in the community, see you in the skies, my friend. Thank you very much, Mike, for that donation, dude. I truly do appreciate you, man. Incredibly kind. Thank you, thank you, thank you, buddy. Thank you for the kind words. Thank you for the $20 donation. Really appreciate that, man. Thank you, dude. Daniel, don't be coming up with these crazy ideas. I'm gonna engage LNAV. Let's go flaps up position one. Auto brake goes off, lock our gear. We need to switch over to Unicom 122.8. Turn the engines down here just a little bit. Follow our flight directors. Turn those 
wins. I'm blaming you. Absolutely good. 220 flaps clean. Standard barrel. Bug up our cruise altitude, which is going to be 35,000 feet. Good. Pitch for climb. Get it trimmed correctly. There we go. And we'll go ahead and engage autopilot one. Beautiful. Bring you up into the flight deck. Okay. Time to spin the wheel. How many are we at now? At a 16, 17? How many, chat? 17 of them? Ugh. 17 of them, I think we're at 16. Okay, 16. Spin the wheel, chat. Ooh, one we haven't got yet, chat. This is going to be peach or barf. Uh-oh. I think we already know what we're getting. Be prepared to see me barf while eating barf. Peach or barf, chat. Ugh. Mike made it 17. Oh, no. 17... Okay, chat. Peach or barf? Fingers crossed. Peach or barf? Do I have to eat this? Oh no. Oh no, no, no. That's not nice. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe what I just ate and that flavor. It tasted like they took dirty dishwater and like a tomato paste and put it together. Like I definitely taste like lasagna, meatballs and marinara sauce or something. Ugh. That was not enjoyable at all. Bro, I swear these are more shitty flavors than good flavors, chat. Has anybody been keeping track of this? Has anybody been keeping track of how, like, awful these are? How many bad ones I've had compared to the good ones? God damn it. Ian, two months. Thanks, dude. Appreciate you. We got Diamond Mike dropping another $5 donation. So here's one more for you. So what are we at 17? There's a Bean Boozled Spicy Edition? Ew, no. I don't think we could do that. Do we have a restriction? 9,000 feet? Yeah, below 9,000. Okay. We're about to pass through that restriction here in a second. On the Deepacha. Below 23 at Dexon, 290 knots. Okay, one more chat. What, what, 17? I've had like four good ones, and how many bad ones? Look this way, if you eat the bad ones now, the last half of the box will be easy peasy. I don't think so. I'm pretty sure two thirds of this box, three quarters, is bad flavors at this point. I've had four liver, liver and onions in a row, four of them. Spin it. That wasn't fair to hit my finger. You, Spin it. Oh no. Cappuccino or liver and onions. Dude, I'm, this thing's rigged. Rigged. Jet. It's fucking rigged, man. It's absolutely rigged. <sighs> liver and onions or cappuccino? Is this five liver and onions in a row? D could this be five liver and onions in a row, chat? 
Let's see. There ain't no fucking way, man. There ain't no fucking way, man. <coughs> no, this one's so bad. Just get through it, chat. Just get through it. Just get through it. Just chew. Just chew. I'm telling you. We got a we got a dud box, man. Oh my god, that's the fact that you bite into it and all you taste is like a like a rank onion taste in a jelly bean. That's so gross. And we're 0 for 5. Like, come on. What are the odds of that? We pick 5 of them out. We don't even get 1 cappuccino. 5 liver and onions in a row? Bullshit, man. This game is rigged, Jed. I quit. One more. I keep hitting my finger. I hit my finger again. I hit... Please stop. I hit my finger again. There we go. There's a nice spin. A new one, chat. Uh-oh. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug? Toasted marshmallow or stink bug? This one has me a little bit nervous, if I'm being honest with you. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug? <sighs> they all smell good. Because they're lying. Because it's like a candy outer. Dylan, my man, huge no floaties to you, dude. Coming in with his gifted membership. Thank you very much, Dylan. I appreciate you. And then thank you, Dylan, for the $10 donation back up to 16 What are you eating, chocolate with liver in it? Dude, it's, they're, they're called bean boozled. What is it? A whole new spin on playing with your food. It's called, for those of you that don't know. Hello. Good afternoon, Captain. <laughs> How are you, Dylan? Thank you for the support, man. It says, these jelly beans may look alike, but could they could not taste more different from one another. Think you can tell them apart? We dare you. Yeah, I bet you do dare me, giving me five liver and onions in a row. All right, chat. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug? Please be toasted marshmallow, for the love of God. What the fuck is that? <laughs> Give me like goosebumps and shit, man. I've not. No What the fuck is that? Excuse me. That is disgusting. Bro. How do we keep getting these duds, man? Spin it again. How many are we at now? This is a terrible idea, Chad. Who the hell... Who okayed this idea? <laughs> I did it again. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug? No. It's going to give me fucking stink bug again, dude. <sighs> Stop. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug again. Chad, this is not nice. Y'all are not nice. Bad. Bad chat. <sighs> Toasted marshmallow or stink bug. It smells good. 
but they all smell good. I just got the... Why? Why? This isn't fair, man. Like... Did not fair chat. Disgusting is kind. Apparently. This is not nice though. This is not nice behavior. This is like I <laughs> God, that one is brutal. Dylan, thank you for another ten dollar donation, man. I appreciate you, dude. Montreal Dev, thank you for your business class subscription. Welcome back, my friend. Huge no floaties to you. Chat, this is not okay. We need to keep spinning till we get a good one, man. This is not okay. Spin it. Give me something good. Come on. Juicy pear or boogers? Okay, we've had juicy pear before and it was delicious. We need juicy pear, chat. Where are you? What color is it? Uh, which one is it? It looks like green. I don't even see if. Oh, here we go. Oh no, dude! Juicy pear or boogers? Anything to get this stink bug taste out of my mouth would be great right about now. I'm fucking convinced at this point that this box is just all shitty flavors. Like, I gotta be honest with you. The boogers are so mild compared to the stink bug, the liver and onions, the barf, and the dirty dishwater, and the dead fish. Very different. I'll take eating boogers all day long over those ones. We're spinning again until we get a good one. 14 left. We're spinning again until we get a good one. Pomegranate or old band-aid? Chat. This is a new one. Pomegranate or old band-aid? Pomegranate or old band-aid? Dylan, thank you for the gifted membership, my friend. Huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you for your support, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For the finale at the end, we'll do one of every flavor if we have it left, and then we'll just die probably. <sighs> Pomegranate or old bandage? What is an old bandage going to taste like? I mean, it couldn't be worse than the dead fish or anything. I'm going to savor this one. Hmm. That was pomegranate chat. That was delicious. So at the factory, uh, it had to be someone's job to taste test these and make sure that they were right. Hopefully they get paid well. Dude, I could not imagine. The 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 taste that the liver and onions and like the the dead fish was leaving in my mouth, even the stink bug, that shit was nasty. Like nasty. I can still taste the stink bug. It's overpowering the pomegranate that I just ate. I can still taste it. It tastes like pomegranate stink bug. That's literally what it tastes like right now in my mouth. It's disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. How many do we have left? 13? Okay, we gotta keep, we gotta keep going here, chat. 13 more bean boozled. Hold it on the edge. 
give it a nice flick. Something new. Birthday cake or dirty dishwater, chat? We've done this one before. Birthday cake or dirty dishwater? Last time we got dirty dishwater and it tasted like the cloth. It tasted like someone's dirty dishwater cloth. Twelve more after this one. It tastes like you're chewing on like a, a like a, a a fucking soap and sponge. It's literally what it tastes like. Like an old, dirty, dingy sponge with a little bit of soap on top of it. Ugh. What are you chewing? Bean boozled's. Some are good, some are bad. You spin a little thing and it lets you you pick whether they're good or bad. That one's disgusting. The other the other ones are disgusting. That one is disgusting. Like I cannot get that picture out of my brain. All I picture is just a dirty soapy sponge <laughs> that's been sitting there. How do you get the camera shake when you land? Um, FS realistic. FS realistic is the best way. What are we down to? We're down to 11 or 12? I think we're at 11 right now, right? Wasn't that our 12th one? Ugh. Bro, there's so many nasty flavors in my mouth right now. My God. No, they don't have the, the chocolate or dog food. Dylan has been replaced by cappuccino and liver and onions and I'm 0 for 5 we've landed on that one 5 times and 5 times I've got liver and onions disgusting what is the frame gen mod? exclamation point frames in chat if you have an RTX card so a 3000 series card it enables frame generation which is technically only available on 4000 series cards do you have any mods for your clouds? ultra clouds still look like the smudges of oil paint for me no just running on ultra man Yep, Lucas already explained it, man. FS realistic, dude. FS realistic is how you get the camera shake on touchdown. FS realistic. It looks exactly like this. This is hands down a must-have add-on. And it's right here. Sorry, touchdown CPT. front, touchdown main. Your carry-on did not fit into the sizing device. Please enjoy a jelly bean for our inconvenience. Oh, no. You can also go to the profile cloud and download my profile as well as other profiles if you'd like. Jack, can we rate this? Can we rate this five stars so we get our, our rating up here a little bit better? Thanks so much. Um, thank you, Average Beaver, for another five dollar donation. We're at thirteen now. Oh my god! Okay, we got to do another one. Please, 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 be a good flavor. Stop fucking around. Good flavor. Liver and onions again. Are we almost out of these liver and onion ones so we can stop doing this? There's five left. So that means there was ten liver and onion ones. And I'll bet you a bottom dollar all ten of them are going to be fucking liver and onions. Does FS Realistic affect the FPS? I don't think so. I don't think so. I just got to four stars. Hey, thank you. Liver and onions or cappuccino chat? We're 0 for 5. Five times it has been liver and onions. <sighs> please. Please, 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 please. Finally. Mmm. 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 That may be the best tasting one so far. Cappuccino. Mmm. Tastes like a French vanilla. Who here knows about Tim Horton's French vanillas? That's what that tastes like. 
Where do you get the profile? Uh, if you go to FS Realistic, you click on the profile cloud, and it should be right here. Captain Canada, third one down. You've also got Hacklear, and you've got 737 NG driver. He was a real 737 pilot, so I'd be curious to check out his as well. I bet you it's pretty good. 10,000 downloads, so it's got to be pretty damn good. Why are you torturing yourself with jelly beans? Because it's all in the name of content and having fun with chat. We used to do this all the time. We used to have being boozled up on chat all the time. And uh, I think what we're going to do is I think we're going to do like one day a week, maybe every Saturday or every Sunday or something. Any donations that come in, we're going to do being boozled. We're not going to do it every stream. That's just silly. People will get sick and tired of it. But if we do this once a week where we dedicate, you know, you donate $5 or more, you get a... You get to watch me suffer and eat some bean boozled or something like that. I think that's the plan. I think that's what we're going to do. Wings beat the Leafs in OT last night. How about that? First win in a long time. Debrink it at two goals. Guy hadn't scored in like, what was it? 20-something games? Wild. Hey, Gab, it's been a while since I've been able to catch the stream. Good to see you today. Zach, good to see you, man. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well, buddy. All right, how many beans are we at, chat? We have 11 left or 12? 11 or 12, Dan? I don't know. We're at our cruise altitude, 35,000 feet. We are cruising for, uh, why does it say reset MCP? We're at 35,000, that's our cruise altitude, right? I think that's what we had, oh wait, I wonder if it didn't give me, yeah, I'm going 3-5. Execute, good. Okay, there we go. 180 miles till top of descent, chat. We're only cruising at 35,000. Um, Faraz, eight months. Says, hey, Cap, I have a quick question. I have a Ryzen 5 and a 3070 Ti. Do you think I can handle your settings? I also use Rex AccuSeasons. Um, I would think so. You might have to tweak things just a little bit, but you should be good, man. You should be good. Lightspeed, take care, man. Have a great Sunday, dude. You got to win last uh, two in Washington needs to lose for us to have a chance. Got you. Got you, got you, got you. Okay, we've got 12 left. Let's spin it, chat. Let's get her down to like 10. Maybe for the next flight. Spinning, spinning, and it has gone to buttered popcorn or rotten eggs. This is one that I dread, if I'm being honest with you. Buttered popcorn or rotten eggs. We got buttered popcorn last time which means 50-50 chance we're probably getting rotten eggs this time. Rotten eggs, I remember rotten eggs from the previous ones. They were absolutely terrible. Rotten eggs or buttered popcorn? Fingers crossed for buttered popcorn. Let's go, chat. Yes. Man. Buttered popcorn, chat. Two for two. Two for two with the good ones. We had cappuccino and buttered popcorn. Mmm. What's the mod called when your landing gets rated? Uh, landing rate monitor. You can put exclamation point LRM in chat, and that'll provide the Nightbot command. It'll prompt the Nightbot command, and you can go ahead and grab the link for that. Just read the instructions on how to install it and how to get it to work properly. That is all I, all I asked. Did we leave our lights on? Chat, we didn't. You guys are terrible co-pilots. I blame Dan. I digress. There we go. Okay. One, what are we at now? How many? We have 11 left. Okay, let's get this down to 10. 11 left. Let's do 10. Spinning, spinning, spinning. What do we got here? Tootie Fruity or Stinky Socks? Ugh. Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks? Tutti Fruity sounds good. Stinky Socks does not sound appealing. I'm going to make sure this is the... Oh, no, it's these ones. Is it these ones? Yeah, it's got the blue all over it. Okay. Tutti Fruity or Stinky Socks? Tutti Fruity, Stinky Socks. Ooh. <laughs> mm. 
Can I just get a bag of Tutti Fruity, please? Tastes like, um... Tastes like... Juicy fruit mixed with bubble gum. Mmm. Tutti Fruity is damn good. That was delicious, chat. Okay, we're down to ten. Do we get it down to nine? Let's do one more. We just had three good flavors in a row. I'm feeling... I'm feeling good flavors here, chat. We'll save the other ones for the next flight. Let's get it down to 10. Uh, pomegranate or old bandage, again. Pomegranate or old bandage. Pomegranate, old bandage. Can we go four for four? Pomegranate, old bandage. What the fuck is that? Ew. Ew. That may be the worst one we've had. <coughs> oh. What the fuck? That tastes like you're walking down the fertilizer aisle in Home Depot. Mixed with like plastic and like blood. That may be the worst one yet. I'm not even kidding. Nonsense, bring it back up. Oh no. Flyboy with the 10 bomb. Oh no. Flyboy, thank you for the support, man. I appreciate you. We got NL Gaming. Here you go, Votier. <laughs> with the $51 donation. Huge no floaties to you, NL Gaming. Thank you for the support, man. That is incredibly kind. Truly do appreciate you, dude. Dude, that one is... That one's concerning. That flavor is concerning, Jot. That is... That ha... Oh, man. That is absolutely disgusting. That one may be the worst one, the old bandage. I'm not even kidding. We haven't got the rotten egg yet, but that might be the worst one that I've had so far. That one in the liver and onions. Ugh. I'm hoping it does, Dan. That... It legitimately take You know those, like, plastic band-aids? Like, the plastic ones. Not, like, the fibrous ones. Like, the, the, like the, the plastic band-aids? That's what that tastes like. Mixed with, like, something funky. Like, fertilizer and blood or something. Has, like, that, like, irony... Ugh... That's disgusting. <laughs> the taste won't go away. Dylan with the five dollar dono. Huge no floaties to Dylan, getting us back to twelve bean boozleds. He got considering buying the Thrustmaster Boeing yoke. Currently have the Honeycomb Alpha. Do you think it's worth it? Looks plastic to me compared to the Alpha. It, high quality, man. 
The entire internal components are aluminum and metal. It does have a plastic outer frame, yes. The thing is absolutely, it's a tank, man. I absolutely love it. I can highly recommend it, 10 out of 10. I've put thousands of hours on this yoke, thousands of hours, and it still feels like the day that I brought it home. So just keep that food for thought, right? Thousands of hours flying on it. What's the sweet game called? Can you get it in the UK? You can. It's called Bean Boozled, Sasha. You can get it on Amazon. You can get it like any like um, at any like candy shop or something like that. They'll have it as well. They'll have that, man. Um, NL Gaming, thank you for the fifty-one dollar donation, man. Incredibly kind. Incredibly because kind. I don't like for you to suffer alone. Dan and I volunteer to eat a whole box of just the bad jelly beans at FS Expo. It's for a good cause. Oh, really? All right, man, I'm going to bring some Bean Boozled down to Vegas with us. Get that back up there. <laughs> God damn it. Dylan with the five, thank you very much. Mike dropping the 50 bomb as well. Holy macaroni. Huge no floaties to you, Mike. Thank you for the support, man. I appreciate you, dude. Incredibly kind. We're at 13 now. About to be 14. All I can taste is old bandages in my mouth. I know, okay, $50 dono, we gotta do at least two. We'll do two, so add two onto it. So, 15. Wait, plus Mopar's 10. Mopar d donated 10. So, okay, we're at 16 now. Oh, no, dude. 16 more? Chat. All right, let's do one now. 16, spin it. Peach or barf? <laughs> Last time we had barf, that shit was nasty. Peach or barf, chat? 15 after this one. Peach or barf? Here has been a good sport about this captain. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. All these sweet jelly beans. My teeth are yelling at me just for watching this. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. You donated, but I realized that it was Flyboy who donated on your behalf. He said, because I don't like for you to suffer alone, Dan and I volunteer to eat a whole box of just the bad jelly beans at FS Expo. It's for a good cause. Mighty as well hop on the donation train. <laughs> Viper Eyes coming in with the 12 euro as well. Huge no floaties to you, man. That vomit one is disgusting. It literally tastes like, th like pizza throw up. It tastes as if you had pizza and then you threw it up and then you tried to eat it again. That's the best way to describe what that tastes like. Surprisingly enough, I don't mind that one compared to some of the other ones. That was disgusting. Reminds me when I was at elementary school, I had to swallow it back down because I didn't want to be embarrassed. Exactly. Hey Gap, if I understand correctly, you use frame gen. If it works with DX12, is DX12 enough, uh, stable enough these days? Remember, quite unstable and some third-party planes didn't work well with it. Uh, Yuka, all the planes work. The only really big thing that you'll notice is sometimes the tiles underneath, like ortho tiles, will get a little bit messed up. There's a little bit of bleed through at airports sometimes. That's the biggest bug that I've run into. Haven't had any issues with any aircraft or anything like that. Mike, thank you for your support today, man. Truly do appreciate it, dude. All the gifted subs. Uh, the $50 dono as well, man. Huge, 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 huge no floaties to you, dude. Thank you for your support. Incredibly kind. Appreciate you, man. Thank you, buddy. How many are we up to now, chat? I just ate one, so what's that? We're at 15 now or 16? 15 or 16? I don't know. Fuck. Have another one, Captain. You got too many. Oh no. Cappuccino and liver and onions. We've had five liver and onions, one cappuccino. 
Will this be another liver and onions or cappuccino? Let's find out right now. Just don't think, you know what? When I close my eyes and I don't think about it, it's worse. That's so fucking disgusting. I've almost done a full 750 milliliter bottle of water just to try and rinse these tastes out of my mouth. God, that's disgusting. These ones are real bad, man. Like, these are real bad. I don't remember these being this bad. I really don't. 14 left. Buttered popcorn or rotten eggs? I've been putting... I'll do it. You know this is going to be rotten eggs. It's just gonna, this is the one that's going to send me over the top. Buttered popcorn, rotten eggs. You know it's going to be rotten eggs and I'm going to have to get up out of this chair. Wow. We're three for three. Three for three on the buttered popcorn over the rotten eggs. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Um, let's forecast our descent winds, friends. Um, we are weather in Brussels. Uh, winds are still 270 at 4, altimeter is 1020, no significant change. So we'll throw in 1020. We'll load our descent winds. And we'll execute that. Good. If we go to our progress page, you can see top of descent is in 49 nautical miles. So we're looking good. E Captain, love the video. We ever fly Ryanair? I've heard they're not very good. Apparently, EasyJet is better. Um, I'd fly whoever, man, to be honest with you. As long as it wasn't a crazy long flight, Pepino, I would do it, man. No crazy long flight, no problem. No problem. So really want to eat anything uh, with the munchies. I'm mean, Jesus, man. Did I watch UFC last night? I did not. No. I uh, didn't do a whole lot last night, to be honest with you. I watched some Dexter. Started watching Dexter again. I watched the first, like, four to six seasons when it came out. But, um, no, bro, this is fucking rigged. Man, liver and onions and cappuccino again. This has to be rigged. The spinner has to, like... Like, what's insane is it's spinning around, like, 50 times, but it keeps landing on liver and onions or cappuccino. Liver and onions, cappuccino. Cappuccino. You get any idea why my ground textures are all fuzzy? Hmm. Start watching Suits? I think that's next for me, Bomb Tech. I think that'll be next. Cappuccino chat. That was a good one. We'll keep the pain going. 12 left. Spin it. Buttered popcorn, rotten eggs. It really wants me to just get the rotten eggs over with, doesn't it? Buttered popcorn, rotten eggs. Here it is, chat. The moment that I've been dreading. Oh, that's bad. 
Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad, 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 bad. Oh, that's bad, chat. It it tastes like How do I describe that taste? It kind of tastes like the rotten fish. Oh, that's bad. Yes, it's stuck in my teeth, Dan. You didn't see me just pick my tooth? It's disgusting. You get little pockets of like shit tasting just popping up. Oh, that one was not good. That one's weird. Just got peaching, just got pizza watching you eat uh, Ryanair meal service is so funny. <laughs> oh man. That one's weird. It's hard to describe what that tastes like. I think somebody in chat, it, you're right. It doesn't taste like rotten egg. It tastes like... hard to describe two at once but what if one's a good flavor and one's a shitty flavor are you saying two of the same flavors or two different flavors all right we got 11 left spinning it strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish you want me to do two of these ones strawberry smoothie or dead fish what do they look like they're those ones I dropped one chat. Can we just let it go? Where did that even go? I have no clue where that went. We dropped one. <laughs> two different... Okay, well, I got two of these. Do I do two of these? Two different flavors at the same time? Oh, no. Okay, let me put that one. Strawberry smoothie there. And then I'll spin it again. Does this count as two? Yeah, toasted marshmallow stink bug. Oh, no. Okay. So we've got the potential of it being strawberry smoothie or dead fish or toasted marshmallow and stink bug. Hold on. I got to get water for this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This could be nasty. Let's go for the stinky dead fish bug. Ugh. Okay, we gotta get ready for. I think we're, we hit our descent actually, or we're about to. Let me bug this up. Altitude intervene. Uh, 7,000 feet at Kirky is what we're to expect. 7,000 feet at Kirky. Okay, chat. This counts as two. So what does this put us at? Nine after this? I think we're down under ten now because it was 11 and 10. Do I have to chew at the same time? Oh, dude. Oh, We just had a strawberry banana smoothie stink bug. There was so much joy in my mouth for half a second. <laughs> Tough cuts is yummy. Oh. So disappointing. That had so much potential to be so good. That's another one that's rigged. The toasted marshmallow and the liver and onions ones, those are rigged, man. 
Nothing but duds. Ugh. Next one. I had a banana in there. Next one. Not this one again. Pomegranate or old bandages. This one is might be the worst one, dude. Pomegranate or old bandages. Mmm. Pomegranate. Mmm. That was a good one, chat. I love the pomegranate ones. They're delicious. And they're really strong, so it, like, coats your whole mouth. He <laughs> goes, you've earned it. Seems like it was that way with the dog food and the chocolate. It was always dog food. I remember those ones, too. That was, like, the third or fourth edition. Dude, that's what I'm saying, mofo. At what point did somebody have to, like, come up with these flavors and be like, there we go. We're down to eight. Man, we better keep going. Then we're on a roll. Hey, we're not. Spin it. That one is just over onto Juicy Pear or Booger. Now, I was having trouble. I think we might be out of those ones, which is weird because we barely had any. Juicy Pear Booger. Uh, no, I see one right here. Is this one? I think this is one. Juicy Pear Booger. Yep, that's a booger. That is 100% a booger. Tastes like dirt and fresh cut grass. You want seven all at once? Chat, should we do seven all at once? We'll go and grab every flavor. That's weird, man. How do you know how that tastes? Well, you taste off what it smells. Would you found this game when you were younger? Yeah, we used to do this on the channel years ago, Shasha. We used to play this. Bean Boozled. Alright, fuck. Seven. Is there even seven? Okay, wait, hold on. We got... What's this one? Birthday cake or dishwater? Strawberry, banana, or dead fish? Popcorn or rotten eggs? Toothpaste or berry blue? Peach or barf? Pomegranate or bandages? What's that? This is six. Do we have a seventh flavor? I think we might be out of the other flavors. Oh no, we have one left. Cappuccino. Cappuccino or liver and onions. All right, chat. <laughs> Count them. There's seven. You guys ready? All seven at once. Let's go. Oh my fucking god. <coughs> I almost lost a chat. I was <laughs> Uh, I was that close to losing it there for a second. <laughs> I was that close, bro. Okay, man, we're putting this game away. Right, we're done. 
Game goes away till next week, chat. Go away. I cannot, I can't even describe the flavors. Instantly, instantly it was liver and onions, which then changed to toothpaste, which then changed to stink bug and dirty socks. I think, I think that was five bad ones, two good ones. I am unsubscribing to your account. Toodles. That was, uh, <clears throat> Oof. almost lost it there, chat. That was close. We almost, almost got a, almost got one there. Ooh. That was uh Oof. <laughs> The best way I can describe that was liver and onions mixed with toothpaste mixed with boogers and dead fish. When I almost lost it, it was because I could taste the dead fish dishwater mixed with toothpaste that's uh yeah <clears throat> yeah that one hurt yeah so a long time since we've been in india can we go back there maybe next week the following we have good indie builds mumbai scenery um, we'll definitely go back. I don't know if we can go in next week. We're going to be back in North America maybe the following week, but yeah, we'll see. Thank you, Sasha. I appreciate it. Boy, oh boy. That was, uh, we're putting those away, chat. Thank you for all of the support. Thank you to everybody who donated. Thank you to everybody who came in for a laugh with me on that one. We're going to put those away. We'll take them out next weekend again. I'll let you know. Maybe next Saturday or Sunday we'll do uh, we'll do another bean boozled challenge. We're out of a couple flavors though. We're out of um, we're out of the juicy pear booger and we're out of the cappuccino liver and onions. So we're out of two two out of the eight flavors. How many flavors? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Okay. So we've got eight flavors left. Order the spicy edition. I'll look and see if there's any more that I can order on Amazon. Nothing a repeat Amazon order can't solve. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I can get these at like Walmart for a better price. I'm going to check. I don't, I don't know if... That was quite expensive. It was 15 bucks for that box on Amazon. <clears throat> to me, that seems a little bit excessive. So I'll see. I'll see if I can find them at a better price somewhere. Oh, and thanks to Mopar for volunteering himself and Dan for agreeing to suffer through some bean boozled themselves. What gents? I agree. Great show, great show of character. Great show of character. 15 bucks for suffering seems not worth the amount of money. It's all in good fun, Dylan, right? As much suffering as it is, you know, it's usually gone within a minute or two. It's all in fun, man. I have fun doing this type of stuff as well. The reaction, seeing how, how people get, you know, happy in chat. It's, uh, yeah. Those, that's weird though, man. Some of those flavors were damn weird. That, I think the liver and onions, the dead fish, and the bandages are by far the worst flavors. Like that, there's something wrong with that bandage flavor too. That like plastic fertilizer taste that it has. That's weird, man. Weird, weird, weird. 154 on the approach speed chat. <clears throat> um, let's start getting some frequencies in here as well. We are planning for the 25 right from Kirky. Um, frequencies are going to be 108.9. So bug that up now. 
108 9 left side 108 9 right side front course was what was our front course front course was 244 bug up 244 good left side and right side 244 hand minimums I can still taste that last those last seven in my mouth absolutely disgusting 302 on the minimums chat 302 on our barrel minimum good cool we should be just coming under the clouds now it was overcast at uh, I forget what it was Overcast at few at 4600, so we're actually quite a ways out from the airport still, but airport's up over here somewhere. A little bit of rain, plus six. Maybe should have had some engine anti-ice on coming through those clouds, but I think we're through most of it now. I mean, yeah, bandage with blood taste uh, seems accurate. Dude, it's brutal. Absolutely brutal. Looks like a typical fall day in Brussels. Well, it's spring. Shouldn't be fall. Uh, frame gen will not work with a 1650 calum, unfortunately. No, it only works with... Um, it only works with uh, RTX cards. All right. So, we're going to go from Kirky all the way out to Bruno VOR. And then from Bruno, we're going to track inbound to Uvetti. And if we look at our charts and we look here, you can see we're going all the way out to... It kind of puts us a little bit of a different turn. That's fine. I don't mind that turn at all. And then we're going into the international stands here at... Um, in Brussels, sorry. And uh, international is going to be here at Pier, whatever this is going to go somewhere down here 204 208 214 any one of these guys we can take the real aircraft parked at 204 um, i don't know if i can even select that in here i might be able to do that ebbr brussels uh gate i might be able to select it doesn't give me that okay where's 207 207's on that side no they're on this side 204 so give me a second we'll try and figure this out Brussels, uh, parking, no, quite sure why it doesn't have 204 as an option, ramp, uh, no, okay, well, we'll just go and park there anyways, you had a great lunch of liver and onions, oh man, you gonna get the RTX 5090 when it releases, uh, probably not, I'm looking to do a build towards the end of the year, 777. Um, when Microsoft 2024 comes out, I'm probably going to build a new computer specifically for that simulator. <clears throat> I'm thinking 4080 Ti. Wait for the 5000 series to come out. Once the 5000 series start dropping in price, maybe I would consider going with a 5080, 5080 Ti, something like that. But um, no, I think the next build from me if I had to make a build today, right now, if I go to the computer store, I would probably end up building a 7800X3D with a 4080 Ti. I think that's what I would do. Um, so yeah, there's nothing that I, I might still do it. We'll wait and see. I might still pull the trigger when I get home from FS Expo. Maybe I'll, you know, I'll be able to test something or find something down there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I also want to see what Intel is going to do with their 15, 15 uh, series chip, which I think is coming soon, isn't it? Towards the fall, I think we're getting the, the new uh, Intel chips. I don't know. Why 4080? Uh, 4080 Ti, just for the native frame gen, Nismo, to be honest with you, man. The 4080 Ti's are uh, quite capable cards. They're basically, you know, 4090's that couldn't be, so... The 4070 Ti is slightly better than the 3090 Ti for way cheaper. Um, maybe, I don't know. I'd, you'd have to compare the two, to be honest with you. I, I don't know much. I haven't done a lot of research in a while, so... There's Brussels down there. Uh, sorry, yes. 4080 Super, not Ti. Sorry. 
That's right. I forgot that they moved away from TI's. The 4080 Super, correct. Yes. Upgraded 4070 TI Super and very happy with it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely, Nismo. Yeah, beast. How are your 30s treating you? Uh, good, man. Good. No complaints from me, dude. Bought my first property in my 30s. Got engaged in my 30s. Uh, yeah. Can't complain, man. All right, keep that descent going. Altitude intervene. Going to go down to... What is intercept going to be? Intercept is 2,000 feet at Uvetti. So we'll go 2,000 feet. Actually, I'll probably intercept at 3,000, but... I have a 4090, and Microsoft still likes to stutter, probably because I'm on Sim Update 15 beta. Could be. But I'd said body pain starts after 35, maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Jean. You going across the pond? Uh, no, Sasha. No. All, all signs are leading to not doing cross the pond. It's your birthday next week, seven days from today. I'm turning 18. Very cool, man. You going to the strip club? How old do you have to be to go to the strip club in, in Europe? In the UK? Do you guys have strip clubs with Brexit and all that shit going on over there? You guys allowed to do that? You're not allowed to look at naked men and women. I never know. Europe is weird shit. 21 in the USA. Yeah, 21 in the USA. 18 in Canada. 18 and 19. It depends on the province that you're in. I am going to start slowing up our speed here. We're going to go with 210 knots. I see the 4070 is quite popular in this chat. It is. I mean, it, I think the 4070, 4070 Super, TI, whatever, I think that uh, it's probably your best bang for your buck as far as performance to what it costs. So, he's not wrong, and it seems 35 have to be metabolism goes down and the pounds go up. Yep. That's just normal, though, I feel like, to be honest with you. Can't drive, but I still have... Uh, but can't drive, I still have my own property. I got my life down. I just want to drive. Uh, most hate men who don't drive. Most women hate men who don't drive. Driving is a big thing. Yeah, I don't think I would be able to, you know... I... I uh, I require driving on an almost daily basis. Definitely not, maybe not daily, but a weekly basis for sure. You have a 3060 tab, but also uh, going to get a 4070. There you go. 4070 Ti Super was supposed to be 4080s, I think. Could be, yep. Staple of Germany is alcohol, so therefore it doesn't surprise me that the drinking age is 16. It's crazy, dude. I remember meeting German foreign exchange students when I was in high school. And they introduced me, apparently this is a big thing in Germany, you mix Coca-Cola and beer, just m straight mix, Coca-Cola and beer. And these girls were like, I don't know, 15, 16, when I, like I was, in, I was in high school, grade 11, grade 10, grade 9, and they would mix Coca-Cola, like legit Coca-Cola and beer, and that's what they would drink on the weekends. Crazy. And apparently, like, it's a big thing in Germany. Like, a lot of people do it in Germany, especially, like, younger, because it's, it's, it, the Coca-Cola basically takes the taste away from the beer. It almost turns it into, like, a malt drink or something. Everyone tells me I don't need a car to date nowadays. I mean, yes and no. Yes and no. I, I don't necessarily think that all women are interested. You know, they're only interested if you have a vehicle, but um, it is a little bit difficult, you know, to get from point A to point B. It's very expensive to take an Uber or somewhere everywhere, so. Taking in uh, my car garage for an oil change service booking tomorrow. My car is one year and a half old, so I get service plan or I go warranty last three-year-old car. Uh, speak to your parents about that one, Sasha. I don't know. Stick with Cap Morgan. Cap Morgan's is great. Yep, I like Sailor Jerry when I drink. Sailor Jerry's and... Uh, Captain, I wrote to YouTube support about my membership renewal issue. They oh. told me to contact you. As the administrator and owner of your channel, can you manually adjust the duration of my membership? I don't think so, but I will look, Diego. I will look into it. Thank you for the $3 donation, man. I appreciate you. I'll look into it, Diego. I don't think there's anything that I can do. Um, 
I haven't used the tool in a while, so I may be able to look at that. But uh, I can definitely look. Thank you, Diego. I appreciate you. I'll uh, I'll figure it out, man. I just I don't know if there's anything that I can do. Captain, what's a good Canadian beer company? I don't really drink, Dylan. I, I don't know, man. I wouldn't be the best one to ask, to be honest with you. I know a lot of my buddies drink uh, uh, Moosehead. Moosehead's like a proper Canadian one. Uh, don't drink Labatt Blue. Call that piss water. Lake Ontario piss water. Labatt Blue. Localizer captured. It's Armour Approach. We just get blazed. It's true too. A lot of Canadians smoke the green. YouTube has uh, kibosh that flying shamrock, unfortunately. I don't know why. I don't know if they'll ever decide to revisit that and allow us to add that again. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, that is uh, that is gone. 118605, Tower Hill Run Air, 4 Hotel Golf, uh, ILS 25 right. Right, the 4 Hotel Golf, first tower, hello, wind 270 degrees, 4 knots, runway 25 right, clear to land. 25 right, clear to land, Ryan Air, 4 Hotel Golf. Alrighty, wait. I was gonna say wait for 2500, then we'll go gear down, speed 170. Flaps 15 degrees, it'll be a beautiful view of the flaps coming out here. Man, another sunset arrival, chat. Absolutely beautiful. Does YouTube take your money when people give you money? Uh, yeah, 70 30 split. So I take 70%, YouTube takes 30%. I have a standard contract with YouTube. Uh, 154 on the approach speed. We'll bug that up now. We're about six miles out. Glide slope captured. Beautiful right speeds rolling up. Uh, 25 miles degrees. Hey, uh, firm, we got the traffic on TCAS right here. 4 to go. Through 160 knots, we'll go flaps 30, which will be our landing flaps. Make sure that our ground spoilers are armed to the green light. We shall get all of our lights on. Lit up like a Christmas tree, looking real nice. There's that traffic behind us, nine miles on one, two, five left. Is YouTube basically, uh, it's basically YouTube tax, which is unfortunate, correct. Four, five, Yankee, Bursar, low, wind two, seven, zero degrees, four, no. We do a 737 seven, max when the PNG comes, traffic, absolutely. Yeah, for mile, sure, dude. Right. I feel like this is dumb to say, but does uh, that money get taxed? And if so, who does the tax go to? Canada, correct, yes. So on the 70% that I take home, I pay Canadian taxes on that 70%, which in return doesn't equal 70%. That's 100% of my income to the Canadian government, which then I pay 40, 45%-ish, 46% of that 70% tax goes to the Canadian government. So yes, we are taxed to death in Canada. My airplane. Enjoy the arrival, friends. Catch you down on the ground. 1,000. I never have good landings into Brussels. Can we change that today, chat? Slight crosswind, seven knots. Shouldn't be too much to deal with. Maybe a little bit of correction. Too white, too red, all the way in. Speed looks great. Approaching minimums. Minimums. Continue. Right, going around. 50, 40, 30, 20, Oh. Ooh, we just fucking saved that. Nose down gently. Reversers are out. Decelerating. A little bit into the wind.
Manual braking, 70 knots. Reversals are stowed. We'll vacate here to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to Brussels. Ooh, we almost smashed that. We almost full blown Ryanaired that jet. Alright, then. Almost. Welcome to Brussels, Captain. You have eight seconds and one, three, six, five, one, seven, and eight. Alright, stand 137, I believe you said, by Bravo 7 and Link 3. Right, if I were to go off, it's 136. 136, thank you, by Bravo 7 and Link 3. Right near 4 took off. Okay, chat. Bravo 7, Link 3. Bravo 7. Link 3, out 3, Link 3. I don't know where that is. Uh. Right, I thought the golf you just uh, looked, you gone on out of three, then you can make on out of three and 180 on inner three. Yeah, we'll do the 180 on inner three, sorry, yeah, we're just looking at the charts now. No worries. Um, all right, 136, so right here, okay. Let's go 136. 136, no. All right, let's go. Ground spoilers, flaps, everything going clean. Good landing lights are coming off. Probably turn offs coming off. Strobe lights off. Wing light off. Stop our clocks. One hour and 13 minutes on the flight time. Auto brake goes off as well. And EPU is spooling. Beautiful. Return leg. Uh, we're actually going to Berlin from here, man. So we're going to continue our continue going, um, continue going east down to Berlin. Taxes are high because of the medical system in Canada, or is another reason? Ye yes, one of many reasons why the taxes are absolutely insane in Canada. For a hundred dollar donation after YouTube taxes take your money, your take home is thirty eight bucks. So, yeah, yeah. So if somebody were to donate a hundred dollars on YouTube, YouTube takes thirty percent of that, which means I take home seventy dollars. I then get taxed forty five percent ish on that seventy dollars. Correct. Yeah. That's why I always tell people if you're gonna donate. Any significant amount of money, I'm not telling you to donate, it's not what I'm saying. If you are going to donate any significant amount of money, I always say to do it through PayPal. PayPal takes like 1% and then I pay the tax on that. So if you donate $100, I really take home $100 or $99, $98, and then I pay tax on that $98, 45% .5 on that $98. So it's, um, yeah, like I said, man, welcome to, I, I know, and apparently Canada's not even that bad when it comes to taxes. Apparently Germany and Switzerland and all those, you know, they're even, they have it even worse, so. Stand one, three, four, five, Norway is really bad for tax as well. But I also feel like the thing with like Canada is like we're not paid accordingly. We're not paid well like some of the other countries, right? Whose taxes are that high. Like they compensate it by having a good paying jobs. I feel like the average pay in Canada is like probably what, forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000? Like it's not good. It's not a lot of money. Canadians are underpaid and overtaxed. Got everything in between. Um, APU is on. APU bleed is on. Isolation valve is open. APU gen is on. Engine number two is off. Engine number one is off. Anti collision light is off. Seatbelt signs are off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to Brasas for the first time in a while, man. Hydraulic pumps are off. Probe heats are off. Yacht ampers off. Fuel pumps are off. And we're in a proper turnaround state. I'll go ahead and stop the clock here on our block time. One hour and 22 minutes on the block. One hour and 13 on the flight time, chat. Beautiful. We'll go ahead and reset these guys for our next flight. Reset, reset. Good. We're going to go to GSX. We are going to request de-boarding. Is the next flight uh, shorter? Wait, I think it's right around the same. So it's right around the same. I'm actually going to get some things planned here. I believe it is right around the same uh, flight time. 
And we're going EBBR to EDDB. And doing a 737-800. Economy. 172 passengers, or 174 passengers for this land. Passengers deboarding starting. Passengers deboarding starting now, chat. There we go. Baggage loaders are doing their thing. Aircraft is deboarding. It's a walkout. Uh, it is a walkout. Uh, stand as well, so we should see the passengers walking out of the aircraft. Momentarily. Um, let me file off our flight plan here. It's basically the same. It's an hour and five minutes, so it's an eight eight minute shorter flight. Basically the same thing, an hour and five minutes. You can see you didn't line us up correctly either here. It wasn't us. We were following the the uh, the guidance system. I will reconnect and connect with our new call sign. Good. I'll put some tunes on for us as well, chat, while we're hanging out here. Information should be updated upstairs. I'm gonna change the time as well, guys. We're gonna flip this to, uh, it was on real time. We're gonna flip this to early morning. We're gonna get an early morning departure out of here. We're gonna pretend it's early morning. So bump this to 6.30 in the morning. Good. Cap, do you turn off the battery off when you're doing a full shutdown on the plane or how does that work? Uh, if you're doing a full shutdown, like an overnight, yeah, you'd go batteries off. For just a turnaround or something like this, like there's another flight in the day, uh, you would basically leave it in the state that it is now, in a turnaround state. Is there any freeware Brussels? Because I want to do some flights to EBR, but I can't find a freeware one. Uh, if they would, it would be on flightsim.to, Sasha. I don't know if there is, though, to be honest with you. I really don't know. All right, let's go to our electronic flight bag. We're going to go back here. We're going to go to our uh, flight bag. We're going to request new data from Simbrief. Good, we'll populate that. You can see Ryanair for Tango Tango going from Brussels to Berlin. Beautiful, 480 nautical miles. Tom, nine months, thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. Huge no floaties too, Tom. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Incredibly kind, dude. Really do appreciate you, man. Uh, says, on the UPS ramp in Ontario, prepping for a short flight to Oakland in an A300. Very tempted to book a flight to Vegas for the expo. Do it up, my man. Do it up, dude. I'll see you down in Vegas. Let's do our flight plan request here, chat. You can see EBBR to EDDB. Good, we're gonna set payload on the aircraft. We're gonna set fuel on the aircraft. Good. We're going to select route. We're going to give that 10, 15 seconds to run through it. How do you set the minimums in the 737? Uh, it's by this knob right here. You have your radio minimums and your barrel minimums. Depends what you're looking for. Why are the frames so bad here? What's going on? Even with frame gen, we're getting 40 FPS? What would it what would be... We'd be getting 20 FPS, 19 FPS without frame gen. Is VATSIM being weird? Is it causing it? I'm only losing like two or three frames to VATSIM. Weird. Is Berlin scenery free? Uh, I don't think so. Exclamation point scenery in chat. All right, back down to the FMC. Route uplink is ready. We'll load that. We'll get that ready to go. We have ATIS information, Charlie. 
info Charlie. All right. Go to flights, unload, import, sim brief, you. Tower right near five, Julia Papa, IFR two. Good. Activate, uh, execute. Perfect. Good. Order five, Julia Papa, versus tower, hello. Charlie's current to clear to Berlin, find a spring motor in golf departure, so that they can find sight. They should be climbed by the full six zero to mark 1000. Hetis, what's up, man? All the way from uh, the tower controller. Good to see you, man. Welcome aboard. Hope you're doing well. Welcome to Berlin, and we got info, Charlie. The three, three golf Thanks for jumping on and giving us ATC, and, man. Uh, Appreciate it. Over 6,000, golf 1,000. On a 5 to the Papa, Rebecca correct, star of his proof. What was the takeoff out of Dublin like? It was beautiful, Dylan. Slight little uh, correction for a crosswind. It was really nice, man. It was a really nice de uh, departure. You're doing Ryanair Ops as well. Dublin today, stand 110, but to Sophia, I'm on my way back, fighting against the headwinds as much as I can at fly level 360. Yes, headwinds are brutal. Tower Low Ryanair 4 Tango Tango, ATIS information, Charlie IFR to Berlin, please. Ryanair 4 Tango Tango, press tower, hello, information, Charlie's correct, you're cleared to Berlin, it's Primo 3, Golf departure, runway 25 right, initially 6, service clock 1000. Alright, Ryanair 4 Tango Tango is cleared to Berlin, Spy 3, Golf departure, out of 25 right, initial climb, flight level 60, squawk 1000. Or tango Tango, Rebecca, correct. Startup is approved. Report ready for the push. Startup is approved. We'll report ready for push. Thanks, Ryanair. Right Four Tango Tango. Okay, we got that done. That is all set. Let's come down here. We are going to change a couple things. Going to go to our departures. We're, we're planned on the Spy 3. What did he give us? Echo or 3 Golf departure. So the Spy 3 Golf. Find that on the never ending list of. Departures. Spy 3 Golf 25 right. We'll execute that. Let's come up here. We're going to have a quick little look see at that. Um, the Spy 3 Golf. Going to go to standard instrument departures. Um, Spy 3. Okay, hmm, we need the Spy 3 Kilo. Here's the Spy 3 Golf. So it's an immediate turn. Okay, so the Spy 3 Golf, uh, I'm going to pin that, it's going to be an immediate left turn, uh, Spy 3 Golf only, so we're going out this way, so we'll make sure that we have these waypoints, uh, BR-101, BR-103, BR-105, and then from there we go out to Spremont, all right. So that's good. If we go to our legs, you can see that 103, 105 direct. Perfect. So all of that is in there. So that is good. We'll go to our arrivals today. Uh, into Berlin. Uh, weather in Berlin. We do have Vatsim online right now. So this is arrivals on the two fives. Berlin, Bradenburg, information x-ray. Automatic weather message. Expect vectoring for ILS approach. Runway and use 25 left, 25 right. Um, I would assume, based on our flight path and trajectory, that we're going to expect runway 25 right, um, just for parking anyways as well. We're also going to be parking uh, right up here in the Alpha Gates, Alpha 5, Alpha 3, Alpha 1, one of these ones. So we'll probably vacate, uh, so we'll probably expect 25 right for the arrival. So let's come down here. What did they plan for me? Um, I'm going to edit this quickly and go 25 right. Yes. Uh, okay, generate. All right, so the arrivals. We want the OG, OGB 25 right for the ILS 25 right. And if we look at the approach. Um, 80 dB, stars, clear, 2-5 right, we want it by Uburu, Uburu, so we'll find that on the list, uh, hmm, okay, it's not there, what are other ones that we could take it from, probably Ogber then, 
Ogber, Keytap. I guess that's what we want it via. Okay, we'll take it via Ogber. So select Ogber and we'll execute that. We'll go to our legs. We'll make sure that that all looks good. Should be Ogber, DB413, DB423, 433, Uburu. Uh, hmm, hold on. Should be Ogber to DB14. 413, sorry. To 437. Okay, to 447, which is correct. And then to Uburu, and then from Uburu. Uh... Need this like that. What? Why? There we go. That makes sense. You need to be approach two five right. Pin that from Uburu. Good. Okay. Fingers crossed that's what they want. Fingers crossed that's what we're going to get. We'll have to see. Um, D-board crew, no. D-boarding is complete. Beautiful. Let's go to GSX. We're going to reload Simbrief. Good. And we are going to request boarding. Good. Let's go to our init ref. We're going to plug in our perf init request. We'll populate those numbers there. Get all of that done. Tornadoes are expecting the Great Plains tomorrow. I'm also, uh, I'm also a weather nerd, so yeah, if anyone lives up there, heads up. There you go. Is your sensitivities and reactivity settings perfect for the 7.3? In my opinion, they are, Chris, yeah. Everybody's going to have a difference of opinion, though. Like I say, man, sensitivities and stuff like that, you'll probably want to... You'll probably want to get that. You'll probably want to, like, personalize that a little bit. Uh, we're going up to 3.50, so we'll bug that up. Good. N1 limits today. Let's go to our perf calculator. We'll grab some numbers here. We are departing out of 25 right. Uh, import the live weather. Import the uh, aircraft OFP. And we'll calculate that. Looks like we're doing a takeoff D rate 1. So we'll select that with a flex temp of 39 degrees. Interesting. Okay. We'll go... Uh, Setting that 39 up top, and then we'll do a D rate 24k D rate. Go to takeoff, flaps will be five degrees. CG weight, CG weight was 19.3. Good V speed should be 40, 41, 47. 40, 41, 47. Beautiful, cool, done, ready to go. Aircraft is now boarding just as that sun is coming up, looking real good. Star triple seven, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Happy Sunday, man. Star Triple Seven, thanks so much, man, for a fourteen dollar donation as well. Huge no floaties to you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Cap, are you excited for Active Sky? Uh, honestly, Diego, default weather has been perfectly fine for me over the last like couple of years. Really, I haven't really had any issues. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's. I, I mean, maybe because obviously I'm gonna hope that it's gonna offer a little bit more accurate wind data, but we'll wait and see, man. I don't know. I. I I don't know if it's, it's, is it Active Sky running off the coattails of like their success in FSX and P3D? If I gotta be honest with you, man, Active Sky for x was kind of a little bit of a letdown. There was like so many things that they had promised that never ended up coming to the simulator. I don't know. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if I should be excited. Um, maybe? I don't know. No more jelly beans. Jelly beans will return next week, man. I think we polished off like half the box anyways. What's up, got greetings from St. Lucia, YouTube dude. What's up, mate? Good to see you, dude. Good to see you, man. 
What's your favorite plane to fly in Microsoft? Uh, probably a toss up between the PMDG 737, the A300, uh, Anybuilds A300, and the Phoenix A320. Probably gonna lean towards the Phoenix. There's something about that airplane. I love flying Airbus. I love the, um, the automation on Airbus. It's just a lot of fun flying Airbus. The mapping part of Active Sky got my attention. Maybe a working weather radar now. I highly doubt it, Johan, because they they still don't have access to the SDK. In order to do a proper working weather radar, you'd have to have access to the SDK that would allow that stuff. And and Microsoft and Asobo have already said that they do not plan on opening that part of the SDK for third party weather. So I don't know, man. I don't know. They have access? Did they open it up? Like, is it, like, confirmed? Confirmed that... Or is this just... You know, we're just saying they have access. x is a uh, lonely only thing going for it is supersonic and VTOL support. I mean, to each their own, right? Day two is tomorrow's outlook and over the plains, Oklahoma and Texas. Are you, Ganesha, are you like getting upset because someone's trying to offer like weather advice in chat? If that's triggering you, you're getting upset about that. I don't even go back to the drawing board, man. Is there an update on the PMGG Max or is it still around the release of the 777? No, uh, yeah, no, no release date yet for either, unfortunately. Do you have reshade? I do not use reshade. No, what you're seeing is just the simulator, man. There's one thing I want, it's actual thunderstorm activity in the correct tops at 40 to 60k feet. I mean, they've already said that we're getting that for Microsoft 2024, Davis, so I don't... To me, it's kind of just like, I think this is a little bit too late, in my opinion. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I don't know. But it just feels that it's... Yeah. Um, we're supposed to get all of those proper... Proper weathers in 2024, so is this one of those things where... Active Sky is going to try and cash in $40, $50 before, uh, you know, before everybody moves over to Microsoft 2024 and all of these things are already included? Or is this, that's kind of what it seems like to me, if I'm being honest with you, man. Because some of the weather and some of the things that they've showcased for 2024 is just insane. It looks unbelievable. So I have a hard time thinking that Active Sky is going to be able to recreate things better than, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but... I don't know, man. It, it kind of, maybe, again, maybe I'm just a little bit too skeptical, but I don't know. I feel like there was a lot of things promised for Active Sky and x that never ended up coming to it. That it's just, I don't know. Here's a key part, and I quote direct from the webpage Active Sky integrates directly with Microsoft 2020 version 1.35 and later. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, it, is this just going to be more for Microsoft 2024? Or is this going to be more, like, is this more, to me, when I see, like, Active Sky coming, this is more directed at the 2020 crowd with 2024 coming out around the corner? That's just what it feels like. Hopefully, maybe at the expo, they'll be there. Active Sky and Hi-Fi, they weren't at the last expo in Houston. Hopefully, they'll be there this year in, in Vegas, and we'll be able to see it. You know what I mean? We'll be able to kind of uh, judge for ourselves, but... Um, I'm not against it. I, like I said, I know that Active Sky has a really good reputation with the FSX P3D community. Um, my my only concern here is, is is this kind of going to be like Aki seasons, right? Where Asobo and Microsoft have taken note of the things that need to be fixed and addressed, and these things will be fixed in 2024. Therefore, right, like we're having full seasons in 2024. So Rex Accu Seasons isn't really going to be needed for Microsoft 2024, right? So is it one of those things where, yeah, Active Sky for 2020 makes sense because it offers what Microsoft and Asobo haven't been able to offer, but will this also, you know, will this work for 2024? I know that it says it will be supported, but I, again, at the end of the day, 
a big difference between something being supported and something being worthwhile. What if it's completely obsolete for 2024? Yeah, there's tons of projects that are supported, but is it really worth you spending 40, 50, 60 dollars? I mean, Active Sky isn't cheap, dude. I'm pretty sure it's, what is it, 45, 45 USD, I believe it is? So it's not a cheap add-on. I mean, that's, that's the price of a third-party airplane. I'd just be curious to see, you know? How many people are boarding? Uh, 174. We're almost done, actually. 174. Would have been a lot longer if we only had one jet bridge. When do you think the 777's coming? I'd like to think before the end of April, but at this point, I don't know. I don't know. I'd love for it to be out by the end of April. Bum, bum, ba, dum, bum. April 30th, Sim Update 15 is coming. Uh, would you be doing a bunch of indie builds, 8320 Neo streams, 777 for the most to make? We'll see, man. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see, dude. I mean, I've flown the hell out of an A320 Neo. There's not much new when it comes to like an A320 Neo, but we'll see, man. We'll see. I wonder why he's pushing that way. I guess we'll wait and see which way they want us to push, but... Alright, boarding has been complete. Beautiful. Let's jump back inside the aircraft. We'll start getting some things finalized up top here. Let's get our fuel pumps on. We'll go and get the seatbelt signs back on. Hydraulic pumps can come back on. Pressurization panel, we are going back up to 35,000 feet, so that's good. We'll take a look at the airport elevation, 156 feet down in Berlin, so we'll put 150. Good. Um, everything else looks good up top there. Happy with all of that. Good. These can come back off. That is good. Cool. We'll go to GSX. We'll prepare for pushback and departure. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to pause our music here because we're going to get ready to rock and roll. Tower Hello Ryanair 4 Tango Tango ready for push and start stand 136. Ryanair 4 Tango Tango hold. Your position, I will call you back. Traffic has uh, faced the wrong position. Sorry. No worries, right there. Four ten ten. I knew he pushed back the wrong way. I say, why did he push back that way? We're going to the other way. Brussels Tower, Shamrock Seven Eight Whiskey, uh, for Taxi. We have information Delta. Seven eight whiskey taxi all the way Bravo one runway two five right five share and out of the seven Q and H one zero one nine. Seven eight whiskey taxi Bravo one runway two five right uh I see era and I think I missed the last part of that turn. It's Sierra and out of the seven Q and H one. I hope they had more commercial aircraft when they released twenty twenty four. I think by the time 2024 comes out, Dylan, there will be enough third-party aircraft. I don't know if anything gets added. I'm sure they add a few, but I don't think too much gets added, to be honest with you. Yeah, Roger, Sierra Outer 7 for Sherman Thank you. Run a 5, Judy Public, would you repeat? Yeah, is it okay if I have my tug driver do a 180 since he faced the wrong direction? If you don't go on the ground, that's okay for me. Okay, we'll do the fire right here. If I do the fire, we'll do the fire. 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 We'll do the fire
place. Active Sky API advanced API features are available for everyone to integrate directly to Active Sky features, including weather lookup effects, mode control, and weather condition control. I mean, that's all good, Johan. I mean, for me personally, I'm not interested in in like you know old weather or effects or things like that. Like as long as I can run live weather and and, and have a that's really all I would be looking for. I know that some people like historic weather events and stuff like that. I'm sure it could offer some cool opportunities, but for me, as long as it can run live weather, that's really all that matters. Who do planes could teleport? I did. Initial climb was 6,000. Uh, yes. Initial climb was 6,000. Initial climb was 6,000. Josh, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. On a holiday in the islands. Nice. Enjoy, man. Never got why people love old weather. I mean, whoever said I can't uh, wait to fly with last Tuesday's weather. That's what I mean. It is It is an odd... I, I can understand why some people... But... One clear pushback approved facing you, throwing air uh, for Tango Tango. All right, Park Make is released. He's moving. At least I thought he was. Anyways, we're good. He's clear. No problem. Uh, beacon light comes on. Come down here. We'll start our chrono for block time. Good. And we'll head upstairs. Get the packs to the off position. Pressure is good. Engine number two over to ground. Turn up the sounds here for engine start. And two percentage on the rise. Start valve is open. Some residual heat from our arrival flight, which is normal. It's not that long of a turnaround. I don't know if that was a Ryanair 25 minute turn, but it was pretty close, it felt like. And we'll introduce fuel number two. Give you a nice wing view. Your rings, uh, correction. Chevrolet 7 a whiskey, runway 245, line up in the weight. 25, right, line up in weight, Chevrolet 7 Yeah, of course it has a live weather mode. Yeah, absolutely. Vape flavor. Uh, this is a THC vape, and it is um, gelato mint. My favorite. If you've been watching my stream for a while, you'll know that I've been consuming gelato mint. It is by far one of my favorite strains. Creamy, earthy, peppery. Nice. Like it. Park brake set. Engine number one over to ground. Start valve open. Again, residual EGT, normal, and two percent of rising. Still doing jelly beans? We put them away, man. We already did a ton. So yeah. Hey, Kip, did you ever get yourself an MCP for your sim rig? Um, I have the mini FCU for my Airbus. I do not have one. I don't have the Boeing one for my, uh, it's too big, man, for my desk setup, unfortunately. I'd love to have one, but Gelato Mint, how I remember the, let's go to the store and get more. The base, weather, the base weather is perfectly fine in my opinion. I actually think that this simulator offers some of the best base weather. X-Planes is also pretty decent. Yeah. Mark, what's up, man? Can see, dude? That strain sounds fire. Dude, it's my favorite. It's by far my favorite. Gelato Mint. Gelato Mint by Tribal. If you're in Canada, Gelato Mint by Tribal cartridges, man. So good. They've literally perfected their strains when it comes for uh, the, um, the vape cartridges. Do you have Delta 8? We don't need Delta 8, Jacob. Marijuana is completely legal here. Canada-wide, it is legal, so we don't need to fuck around with that. Last 5 degrees. 
How do you find out about your local... How do you find out your landing fuel weight? It should tell you in your sim brief OFP, Sasha, and the aircraft will tell you. How much did your gaming PC cost, if you remember? It was just shy of $4,000, Andrew, I believe, when I built it. Built it three years ago. It was about 4000 bucks. In and around there. You kind of like Delta 8 better because it's less intense? Well, yeah, it's, you're, you're talking minuscule amounts of THC, right? So... Um, APU gens are on, Yacht Amper's on, Pro Pete's on, Hydro Pumps are on, Gen 1 is on, APU goes off, start switches over to continuous. PAX go to auto position, isolation valve goes to auto, APU bleed gets closed, 35,000 seat uh, feet set and checked on our pressurization panel, everything else looks good upstairs there, friends. We're good. Can turn off the dome lights, auto brake to RTO, flaps are set, trim value is... 582. Make sure that is set here. 582. Good right about there. Beautiful. Tower on air 4 Tango Tango ready to taxi 25 right. Holding point Bravo 1 by the inners 1019er. Ryan Air 4 Tango Tango. Alright, park break is released. Let's go flying, friends. I think somebody just went flying. Nope. No, I built it right in the middle of COVID, Dan. Remember? Remember I went to Canada Computers and they were like, oh, we need to quarantine. You remember the bullshit that they gave me? They were like, oh, we need to, because I was bringing hard drives in that I wanted hard drives out of my old computer they were like we need we need to quarantine your old hard drives for like what like two weeks or something like that and i thought the guy was i thought he was joking with me like i remember laughing at him i remember being like wait what he's like yeah, we need to quarantine your old hard drives for two weeks or something and i was like bro you're fucking nuts what anyways i had Remember I had the company come here and build it themselves? I literally had the company come. It was in the, it was right in the, it's about three years old. It was 2021 at some point. Anyways, I called the mobile company, the mobile PC company, and they came and they showed up and they built the computer here on the spot, stress tested it. The guy spent like, I don't know, five or six hours here. Dude, I almost, listen, I'm a pretty calm person. You guys know that. I almost hit this guy. That's how like, just like, obscene and like ignorant he was like like he was a fucking COVID-19 scientist and he knew that oh well COVID could be living on your hard drives and co <laughs> like what the fuck bro oh man that was some of the funniest shit I've ever seen in my life dude I remember walking out of the store literally flabbergasted. Just like, there's no way that that just happened, right? Like, there's no way that this man just told me that I need to quarantine my hard drives in their store for two weeks before they could build me a computer. Like, are you fucking... What? <laughs> Anyways, dude, yeah. That was... Was your hard drive wearing a mask? Dude, it's wild. Exactly, Jacob. It's not something hard. All it was, was I was going to get them to build the computer, right? I'm not comfortable building computers. So when I brought, when I was, when I went there to like set everything up for them to buy it, I was like, by the way, I have hard drives for my old computer that I need installed on the new computer. And the guy was just like, okay, in order to do that, you're going to have to bring your old PC in. We're going to quarantine it for two weeks and then we'll pull whatever you want out of it and put it into your new computer. And like, I literally started laughing and the guy was just like, I'm not joking. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? So yeah, anyways, dude, needless to say, I didn't build the PC with them. I actually ended up going like elsewhere and I went out of my way using Amazon and I actually got screwed over. I had to RMA, uh, Amazon sent me defective RAM so we had to like, that was a whole thing. So I had to put like, I had to get new RAM sticks from Amazon. And yeah, it was a whole thing, dude. But uh, yeah, pretty funny. It was a funny little story if you didn't know.
You can't quarantine in an... Listen, I, I, dude, why do you think I... Why do you think I was laughing so hard? Like, I literally thought the guy was joking with me. Like, I'm, like, sitting in there, and I'm like, what are you talking about quarantine? Like, quarantine what? <laughs> Ryanair 4, Tango Tango, winds 2 and 6, 0 degrees 5, not runway 25 right, clear for takeoff. 25 right, clear for takeoff, Ryanair 4, Tango Tango. Lights are coming on, beautiful, engine start switches are to continuous, strobe lights are on, wing lights are on, let's go flying, friends. I think they did that with all the mail, listen, they 100% did it and used it as an excuse so they could sit there Rest and the do fuck line, all. The guy was literally doing nothing, I was in the store for... 30, 40 minutes, the guy was sitting Select behind the desk like three, this. Contact, one, one, eight, the entire time five, five. I was at the store. They're 100%, they just five, used five, it as an excuse to like, well, I'm going to sit here and make minimum wage and do absolutely fuck all with my time. And if anybody comes in, we're just going to say we need to do we need to do quarantine. I, I swear, dude, that's the only thing that makes sense. You know what I mean? Uh, did your hard drive have a vaccine and boosters? All of them, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> All of them. Joystick Cave is on, friends. Enjoy the departure, guys. Sounds are going up. Let's go. Throttles are at 40. We'll hold. Chrono's coming on. Let's go. Toga. Usually helps if you arm the auto throttle. Toga. Slight nose down pressure. Take off power set. Airspeed's alive. Nice. Knots. Neutral. A little bit into wind here. Doesn't need a lot. The one tank. Rotate. Positive rate of climb. Gear up. Thanks for the ATC. You have yourself a great evening, man. We'll make sure to fly in again soon for you. Have a lot to Thank you. All right, over Unicom, great ATC. Guys, let's get some no floaties in chat for the ATC jumping on and giving us nice ATC like that. We're proper in VNAV now. We're in LNAV. Aircraft is climbing. We're making our left turn out. I think it has something to do with the departure, Dan. We won't go LNAV VNAV until it picks up that we're supposed to be making left turns direct. Fops up one. Fops cleaned. Yep, how much did the whole setup cost for like all of the ATC things? Uh, like, what do you mean? ATC is free. Vatsim is free, if that's what you're asking. If you're talking like how much did this cost, like the radio stack? I think it's $200, 180 $200. Canadian, so 140 US, 130 US. Look at that sunrise, Jack, beautiful weather down here. What are frequent flyer miles? Just a way to uh, kind of have something cool in chat to see who can build up the most amount of miles. Standard barrel cross check. We're going to bump up our cruise altitude here. We're going to 350. I'm going to engage autopilot one, bring you guys back up into the flight deck. Let's get 350 on the altitude. 350. Good. And we're climbing. We'll get our retractables off. Let me turn off nose lights and wing lights. There we go. 
climbing out of Brussels. Look at that. Sunrise just over there. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Daniel's, Daniel, man, you're slowly coming in on that Schmitty. Those Schmitty numbers. Dan's going to be there soon, man. He's going to surpass him. I mean, he had like 9,000 points more than everybody, Dan, at some point. He had a, he had, he had a, he had a legitimate 7,500 gap. 7,500 point gap <laughs> in everybody. See, some of you guys got some, some serious points as well, man. Mark with 5,100, Davis with 9,300. Correct. You get points by just watching. So for every, I think it's every five minutes, you get two points. Um, every time you donate, it donates that amount in points. So if you donate $100, you get 100 points. If you donate $10, you get 10 points. It's kind of the way that it works. Kind of like with like a credit card. It's kind of like how I tried to set it up. Like the frequent flyer miles, same as like an airline, right? You spend X amount of money, you get X amount of points. That type of thing. All right, 10,000 feet. Landing lights are coming off. Start switches. Go to off. Seatbelts. Auto. There we have it. Auto brake off. Gear locked. In LNAV VNAV. Up to 350. Pressurization panel. 35,000 as well. According to MK Studios, Discord server LaGuardia is imminent. You wouldn't surprise me if it came out this week. Nice. Very cool. I mean, we'll definitely fly into it next week if it does get released. Hey, Cap, have you seen Active Skies come to Microsoft? I have. We actually had a little bit of a discussion about it earlier, Michael. Um, I'm, I'm kind of curious if, if it's really even needed at this point. Um, one would argue that the default weather in Microsoft is absolutely fantastic. I would also argue that, that I, I think the default weather is, it does a perfectly fine job. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. Guys, remember, if you haven't done so, don't forget to smash down that thumbs up. We're looking for 300 likes on today's stream. I've got a really fun stream planned for us tomorrow as well. Uh, we're going to be doing some Transavia Ops tomorrow out of Paris Orly. It's been a very long time, one, since we've done Transavia, and two, since we've done Paris Orly. And I've got some really fi fun flights planned. We're going to be going Paris. I think we're going Paris to Prague and then back to Paris. We may do Paris, Prague, Prague to somewhere else. I'm not entirely sure yet. I'll have a look at, at uh, Flight Radar 24 afterwards. Cap, have you tried a Pilot's Life Chapter 2? I haven't, Norwegian Flyer. I've heard really good things about it. I am constantly flying different airlines, flying in different parts of the world. So a Pilot's Life it would be a little bit difficult to like apply to me, for example. Um, but I have heard great things about it. A lot of my friends use it. A lot of people say it's, it's, it's really good. Aerosoft Oslo is on the horizon as well, looking at the pictures. I, I mean, we have an amazing freeware Oslo, like payware quality freeware Oslo. We have Orbex Oslo. We have Just Sim Oslo. I, I, don't, I don't understand why we now need an Aerosoft Oslo as well. It just seems like these developers just get lost sometimes and... I don't know, man. It is, if I'm Aerosoft and I'm looking at the amazing freeware that we have, an RD Payware Orbex, an RD Payware Just Sim, I don't really think I'm wasting six plus months of development time. But again, it is Aerosoft, and who fucking knows who's running what over there, so God knows what they're thinking, but it's so weird, dude. It's so weird. You can have it in your contract as long as you do one flight every three weeks for your airline in a pilot's life. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I mean, it may be something to check out in the future, but for the time being, like I said, man, with, with me being all over the place, flying all the different airlines that I fly, it makes it a little bit difficult. That does make it a little bit easier, Hussein. You are right. Just being that I would once a month, basically, I'd have to like make sure I do a flight or something. Yeah. He kept seems I'm often going the wrong way on the taxiway after pushback. Is there a rule on which way to take left or right? 
Uh, depends, Steve. I mean, usually you want to be pointed in the direction that you're going to be going for. So, like, for example, you know, we just left Brussels, right? We were at gate 136. We were going out to runway 25 right for takeoff. So normally you would want to be facing the runway that you're going to. Now, there are some airlines and airports that are a little bit weird like this one. It might be a little bit easier for, let's say, if you're parked here to go out this way because there's traffic here or there's somebody blocking this way. Multiple airplanes are pushing back into this inner one. So it really depends. But usually you want to push yourself back so that your nose of the airplane is facing where you want to go. You just go straight and you're going to where you want to go, right? The least least path of resistance, if that makes sense. Well, we're going Paris Orly to Prague. That is for sure a flight, Matija, like I said. The, the only way that that would change is if it was Paris to Prague, Prague to somewhere. Um, so Paris to Prague is already booked in. I want to do that one 100%. I love both airports, Paris Orly and the Orbex Prague. Absolutely fantastic sceneries. So that's happening no matter what. Like I said, the only difference would be Prague to somewhere else using Transavia. We'll see. If not, I'll probably just end up doing the return flight. One stream, can you please fly to Newcastle? Yes, I believe we have already flown to Newcastle. Um, I can maybe go back. Obviously not this week. I think this week is fully booked up. We have one more stream for the week, which is tomorrow. Um, so yeah. Seems like you're always facing the traffic. Yeah. Uh, like I said, man, it, most of the time you're going to want to push to where you're going out, like to the runway, where it's basically a straight taxi line to the runway or, you know what I mean? Like I said, the path of least resistance, if you will. We are full blown taking advantage of that tailwind as well, chat. 85 knots on our back right now. That is beautiful. Where are we flying next week? We're back in North America next week, Sasha. And we will be back in the Airbus A320 next week. Very much looking forward to that. Airbusing in our Phoenix A320 with our IAE engines. Transavia A321 Neo is sexy. I don't know if I've even seen that. Uh, af well, tomorrow we're flying from Paris Orly to Prague. You have a 119 knot tailwind? Jesus. That's what I like to see. Hey, Captain Bass. Uh, I'm back. What did I miss since we landed? Not much, man. Had a little discussion on Active Sky and just doing the deboarding and boarding process. Did you see the eclipse? Uh, not really, Joey. I mean, it was outside. Yeah, I saw how dark it got. But I didn't, like, travel or anything. I was in the middle of a stream, actually, while it was going on. I have the fun flight suggestion that can be used later in the Discord. Sounds good. Thank you, Dylan. Transavia and KLM are switching to Airbus now for their short medium-haul fleet. Are they retiring the Embraers? The Embraers are getting old, aren't they? Any airport you got a plan for the USA next week? Um, specifically, no. No specific airports. I know that on Sunday, Sasha, or is it Saturday? Saturday for Cross the Pond, because we're not doing Cross the Pond, we're going to do our own long haul. So for Saturday, we're going to do JFK to LAX JetBlue, which is a real world JetBlue A320, A321 flight. So we're going to do that on Saturday if we don't do Cross the Pond. I'm just not feeling Cross the Pond this year. Um, again, we just don't have any proper third-party long-haul aircraft. I, I don't want to fly a default modded airplane anymore. I'm, I'm kind of over those, to be honest with you. Um, so we're going to do our own little thing. So we're going to do JFK to uh, LAX on Saturday, which is about a five-hour flight, I think. Five, five and a half hours. So... What time are you streaming tomorrow? Same time as always, Real Aviation! Exclamation point, schedule in chat. It never changes, my friend. Same time every week, week in, week out. You can find me here. Did uh, Louisville to Midway and LAX to Vegas last night? Nice. Very good, man. Very, very good. 
Maybe longer with the headwind? Yeah, for sure. I think it's hilarious how many people went to the emergencies complaining uh, about eye pain and sight loss. Really? Was that a thing? I didn't see that, but... Look at it closer to six hours, Captain, depending on the headwind speed. There you go. Nothing wrong with that. I'm down for it, man. I'm down for it. Like I said, it's going to be our across the pond. I'm just going to call it across the land. So surprised me after four years, still no proper long hauler Microsoft. You are not wrong. What's crazy, Gil, is we're, we're, we're on the cusp, right? We're on the cusp, man. That 777 is, I mean, like, like, we, like PMDG, it could release at any point right now, dude. It could release this week, next week, the following week, four weeks. We're so close, man. So close to having a proper long hauler. It's, uh, I pray we get there sooner than later, man. After Eclipse, you'd be surprised how many stupid people can be. Well, yeah, I know that. Trust me. I have the problem when I set the turbulence to medium in Microsoft that there's too much turbulence on landing. Do you have these problems too? Sometimes, Chris. I mean, Chris, you can always put it to low as well, dude. If you want my honest opinion, Chris, PMDG, Phoenix, any builds, all the developers say that you should run the turbulence on low. Because, again, the turbulence, what, the, what Microsoft calls turbulence settings isn't really turbulence at all. The way that it mimics the turbulence, mimic is the key word there, is it takes wind and it injects wind. So if you're, let's say wind is calling for 290 at nine, it'll take that wind and it'll put it between variable of 250 and 340 and kind of just swing the wind around, which gives the aircraft the effect of turbulence. So. Like I said, man, don't be, if you're finding it too much, you find it to be un unrealistic, like many have, bump it down to low, dude. I mean, as long as it's not turned off, you can still kind of have a little bit of interaction with the turbulence, I would say go for it. 777 is flown by so many airlines as well, opens up so many routes, absolutely. Yeah. 787 is kind of decent. Ah. It's acceptable, Dylan. How about that? Is that a good word? Acceptable. It's not the best, it's not the worst. It's acceptable. Would you ever fire up X-Plane again? Ah, oh, man. I lost all my ortho big. I lost all my ortho for X-Plane. My, my eight terabyte ortho drive finally kicked the bucket. I don't know, dude. I don't know, man. It would be, uh, it'd be a real big stretch. I'd have to get auto ortho or some type of thing working and I've heard so many like negative things about it. I've heard so many other like content creators say like it's not worth it, it's not worth the time, just fly default, whatever it is what it is. I don't know, man. Never say never, but it, I have no plans as of this time right now to get to get back into explain. Scandinavian is leaving uh, the Star Alliance at the end of the month. Interesting. What's your first flight going to be in the 777? Um, I may do like some circuits before I go live, Matthew, just to see if I can get a feeling for it. Maybe you have to change some yoke sensitivities or something like that. But I think the first flight that we're going to do is going to be a delivery flight, Air Canada, from Payne Field to Toronto probably about a three and a half, four hour flight. Stretch the legs as an Air Canada delivery flight. Painfield to Toronto. Yeah, that's that's the plan for the the inaugural 777, PMDG 777 flight. Okay, for JetBlue flight on Saturday, would you try the Vets in blue livery or just a normal JetBlue livery? Uh, I don't know. I'll see. Maybe I can get a special livery for us, Keenan. Maybe we can pull one up. No Air Canada. Well, I, I wouldn't say that big. Be careful because they, the list that they've showed, the list of airlines that apparently that's just the like, that's just the first. The, there's more liveries than that coming. Those were just like the first batch of them. I hope with some people also mentioning that there's no Air Canada livery that we should have one. Speaking of Toronto, is the update coming soon by Fly Tampa? <clears throat> If there's one thing that I'm learning about Fly Tampa is they are very slow. <laughs> they uh, they like to take their time. Hence the release of Amsterdam and 
Yeah, I mean they've been they've been mentioning this major update for Toronto for I don't know, dude, four or five, six months now. I don't know. I don't know when it's coming. I really don't know. Does Fly Tampa have a forum page or something like that, or anywhere that they discuss plans or like how things are coming along, or is it just through like discords and stuff like that? You done with the painful jelly bean dare or whatever it was? Yes, Andreas. We'll, we'll revisit that next weekend on our long haul. Our uh, cross the pond long haul. It's a perfect time. We'll break out the uh, we'll break out the jelly beans again. They do have a forum. Interesting. Hmm. Who's slower, PMDG or Fly Tampa? I don't know, dude. Both. For how many weeks will you be flying the triple seven without switching aircrafts? I don't know, Aaron. Maybe for like a week or two, probably two weeks max. I think after two weeks, I think you guys will probably want something else as well. So probably jump back into like an A320 or a 737 for a week or two after the 777 releases. The beauty of the 777, and like I've kind of mentioned, it may change the dynamic of the channel a little bit. We may get our regular Thursday streams, two streams on Thursday, and then we may do a long haul, an overnight long haul on Saturday in the 777, and then we may have no stream on Sunday and then another another stream back in the E320 or the 737 on Monday. You know what I mean? So the dynamic of the channel may change a little bit when that 777 comes out. You know what I mean? So Flight Beam San Francisco, we need that bad. Yeah. Sim update 15 is coming April 30th. Has that been confirmed or is that still just a speculation? Have, has anybody confirmed that yet? So far, it's just been speculation. Can DM the vets in blue livery if you'd like to see it? Sure, send it over, Keenan. Appreciate that. There is 35,000 feet, friends. What was our cost index today? 50, and it still only has us going Mach 7 7. I'm going to go cruise. Let's take advantage of this chat. Let's see how. Let's see how quick we can go. Guys, can you bear with me for a couple minutes? Uh, actually, just a 30 seconds. I'm going to run to the bathroom. Thank you to the bean boozled. I've drank an insane amount of water today. I need to go to the bathroom. I will be right back. friends thank you <clears throat> with all this time wasting the teams are now uh setting a tentative date for release date sim update 15 for april 30th that date may shift again but this date as it stands right now is that what they said okay so when does any builds a320 come out with that update is it free yes it should be free and that's when it comes out correct that was fast i mean my bathroom is about 10 steps right there it's not like i have to go very far what do you have your turbulence set to when using real turb? Uh, medium is what I have mine set to, Cap Michael. I find medium and then I've got my 
Uh, real cat turb settings. I think set, yeah, 100 on the, on the scale. Turn your sounds off. Okay, wait, I'll be flying the 777 FedEx from Memphis to Cologne. Nice, very cool. How much is real turb? Uh, I'm not sure. Put exclamation point RT, Steve. Exclamation point RT in chat should pop it up. What's our ground speed looking like right now? 567 knots across the ground, chat. Top of sense in 132 miles. That's insane. You're excited about Active Sky? Nice. I have, I have, I have a few questions, a few um, concerns. But I hope it's going to be a good product. We'll see. It's good to know they've been working on it. Do you get points when the stream ends? Because I'm still at zero points. Uh, no, you should just be... As long as your account's uh, made public, Norwegian Flyer. I don't know if your account's public or private. But um, you should be getting points, like I said, every, every five minutes. I think you get two points or something like that. Weather Force Rex, yeah, that wasn't very good. I bought that as well and uh, was not a fan of that. I was not a fan how every time like you go through a new Metar station, it just like all the weather disappeared and then came back. Yeah. In lieu of Biscoff's catering loaded chicken nuggets and Chick-fil-A sauce. Hey, some Polynesian sauce? Mm, that's good. I'm gonna go try that new chicken place tonight. I'm kind of excited for it. I'm getting hungry. Is any build 320 gonna be better than the fly-by-wire? We have no clue, Sasha. No, nobody really knows, man. And I feel like that's just a subjective answer as well. Better how? Better flying, better performance, better systems, better, who knows, man? Who really knows, dude? I think that's just gonna be subjective. If it can do RNAVs, I think it's already one up on systems, but I don't know. Uh, do you get active on COD? What do you mean, like, do I play Call of Duty? I do play with my buddy yeah, every now and then. I wouldn't say I'm, like, sweaty or very good or anything. I kind of more play to just kind of shit on people a little bit, but... Well, that's funny. Exactly, Johan. Like, what is, what's making it worth 50 or 44 or $45, $50? What is making it worth it? What's going to make it so great? Um, that's what I would, that's what I would love to see, right? That's why I said, we'll have to wait and see. It's good news. I think it's good news that they're finally developing. I'm kind of surprised that it, it took this long, but we'll wait and see. What did you say? We're flying for the Transcon flight. Which one? On the 777 release date? Who knows? I don't know yet. Any builds needs to do a scenery for the number one airport in the world, which is Atlanta. Somebody needs to do in Atlanta. I do agree with you on that one. Why is the engine animation so slow? Uh, frame gen mod. It's frame gen. Calls them weird things. I've been using FSX for over 6,500 hours. It's accurate in areas with weather radars, winds loft, etc. They will not disappoint. It's the PMDG of Microsoft when it comes to weather. Uh, listen, I agree with you, Scott. I had it for X-Plane as well, man. It, it was by far the best option when it came to like X-Plane weather and stuff like that. I, again, hear me out, man. I think this is what you're not, this is what we're kind of more so speaking. Microsoft default weather is great as is. I, I really don't have any issues with it. So what is so much better about Active Sky that is gonna make me wanna spend $50 on a weather add-on? Um, I know that they've already mentioned it's going to be able to do like different clouds and stuff like that, but with Microsoft 2024 around the corner, literally releasing within six months, do we really need an active sky for Microsoft when Microsoft 2024 has already promised all these crazy advances in weather systems, weather radar, all of these things? What? Why am I spending the money for it? You know what I mean? So... That, that's more so my question. Is this Active Sky been designed around Microsoft 2020? Because it doesn't have 
It doesn't have, you know, cloud tops past 30, 40, 50, 60,000 feet. It doesn't have anvil clouds and like all those other things, right? Like, is, is it designed around, around this or is it designed around 2024? I know that they've said 2024 will be supported, but again, with the default weather being so good as is, what is the, you know, what's the major draw to spending that kind of money on yet another weather program? That's it. Why so long? I think some update 15, 1.35 or later changes all that. Um, well, there you go. See, and that, that's another thing. Who knows? You know, how long is six months from now? What month are we in? We're in the fourth month. So, um, yeah, September, October is when I would think that it would be out. In 2024, there will be Johan. Yeah, I mean, they, they've already said a lot of the time has been spent fixing and adding to, to the already really good weather program that is default for Microsoft. I've, I really haven't ever felt the need to change weather systems or, or weather programs. It's always been pretty damn accurate to whatever like the Meta report is reporting. There are the odd occasions where you'll fly in and it's, you know, the weather may be 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes behind. Sure. I would say that that's probably the biggest flaw when it comes to the Microsoft Live weather. Sometimes it's a little bit delayed, but it, again, that's just normal. They have to pull the weather from somewhere and then grab the weather and then insert the weather. And it, you know, it's not going to be instantaneously. And I don't think it is with, with um, any of the other weather programs as well, right? The default Microsoft is probably better than Active Sky. Well, again, I, I don't want to jump to conclusions and I don't want to just like instantly, like I said, I, I, I personally want to wait and see some reviews. I want to see some more, some more previews. I want to, before like I get all super excited, like, oh my God, whoa, whoa, whoa. right? Like it, it, before any of that happens, I need to, I need to be able to see some things. And I think that's fair at this point. I think we just, what am I getting? What am I paying for? And is it going to be worth it in the long run? Like I said, my biggest concern with this program is that it's, I understand that they've said they're gonna support Microsoft 2024, but is Microsoft 2024 really gonna need an add-on weather system? Is this something that you buy for the last four to six months of this simulator's life? Because we all know everybody's pretty much gonna to move to 2024 when it's available, I would think. Um, unless there's some major problems with 2024 and third-party content doesn't work with it, then I could see people using 2020 instead of 2024 until the third party content can work in 2024. But to me, there wouldn't be much point in, I don't know. Like I said, we just need to know more about it, man. It's good that they're developing for it. I'm not getting, I'm not, you know, upset at that. I'm just in a mar I just feel like we just don't, I don't really necessarily think we need a weather system um, for this. I think default weather is perfectly fine. And this is somebody that's been, you know, how many thousands of hours using this sim? I really haven't had any problems with it. Who is this? Uh, EDWW. Bremen Radar. 124175. Bremen Radar. 124175. Good. Roman Radar, very good evening, Ryanair 4 Tango Tango, flight level 350. Okay, two stations, first I got you both. Try first runner 4 Tango Tango, hello. Decent flight level 250, level at Battel. We'll descend 250 level by Battel for Ryanair 4 Tango Tango. Alright, so we're going to Battel. He wants us, um, I guess we'll put 290. I guess it wants 296 at. FL250 for Battelle. So let's see what that is. Reset. Uh, wants us to descend now. Okay, so 250. Is that a restriction that we missed? Or is that just something that they have? Because that puts us about 1,100 feet above profile. So we'll altitude intervene. We'll start the descent now. Um... Let me see, did we... No, there's nothing really that says that's where we should have been. It's okay. Coming from both P3 and X-Plane, I get it, but at the same time, the weather isn't exactly perfect nor that realistic. It's going to be nice to see what they can come up with. I agree, dude, and listen, like I said, man, for, for P3D and um, 
for P3D and, and X-Plane and stuff, I do agree that third-party weather was needed. Maybe maybe I, I worded it wrong. I think th this is the first simulator where I feel that... Um, where I feel third-party weather hasn't been as, like, required. Does that make maybe a little bit more sense? I'm still curious to see what they're going to do and see if it's going to be worth it in the long run. I know Active Sky and Hi-Fi, I mean, they, they have a great reputation in the community. They've, um, you know, so fingers crossed that they will... Uh, sorry, i got to mute the music. Your chat's going to get a little bit busy. Um, so fingers crossed they can offer something unique. They can offer something different. That's, I guess, what I'm, what I'm mainly getting at. If I'm going to spend that kind of money, they better offer something unique or maybe better to the point that it's it's worth spending. You know what I mean? It's not exactly needed, but modeling of non-normal weather like cumulus and storms. I agree, Harry. And hear me out. Again, Harry, for this simulator, absolutely. For 2020, where this simulator, those things aren't offered. They've already said that Microsoft 2024 is going to have all of these features. It is going to have, you know, towering cumulus clouds and, and different, I mean... So that's that's more so where I'm getting at, is is it worth it to buy Active Sky for the final Radar, four to six months of this simulator's life, or or is it just going to become an obsolete add-on because Microsoft 2024 is already going to do all this natively? So I don't know. That, that's kind of where I'm at. You know? I was wondering if we'll fly JFK to LAX flight during Cross the Pond. Oh, yes, next Saturday. Um, next Saturday for Cross the Pond. Yes, we will fly JFK to uh, JFK to LAX. That is the plane. <clears throat> if they open the API for Debs to implement a weather radar, then it would be worthwhile. So, S Johan, weren't you saying earlier, was it somebody else was saying that they did open it, and that's why it will be worthwhile? I haven't heard any news about them opening the API, but I have no clue. What do I know, and right? I don't, I don't know. I don't really follow that, you know? But what plane? Jesus Christ. The E320, and Dad. Listen. Go to the corner. Go to the corner. Go to the corner. That's it. I'm pushing Dad's patience. It's past 3.30. Yes, yes, yes. Go to the corner. Davis is cut off Welcome. for the rest of the afternoon. I think the storm is better. 2024 and 24 hope the turbulence. Uh, 2024. Do you agree with me? I hope so. Yeah. Delta Bravo 434. We'll descend at 130. Right there. 4 Tango Tango. 140. Thank you. Alright, who wants this? Delta Bravo and the radars can begin four three four. Delta uh, we have lost all the confidence in that we're actually oh. able to climb up. Delta two Bravo three four three four. Uh put that into there. Execute. All right. We are now direct Delta Bravo. Four three four. Where is Delta? Where is Delta Bravo four three four? Yes. Two seven zero knots or less. Right here, four tango tango. Right, two seventy or less. We're gonna put it right on two seventy. <laughs> Good Davis. <laughs> I said like eight times already we're going to be back in the A320 next week I just assumed that you had caught on by now <clears throat> by the 19th time of me saying that we were going to be in the A320 next week that you would just assume if we were doing jet blue ops from JFK to LAX that you would also know that we would be in the A320 Dad. Sorry, I had to get that out off my chest a little bit there. Uh, but Cap, JFK to LAX is not cross the pond. Did I miss something? No, it's not. We're not... I'm not doing cross the pond. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Mike who? <laughs> We're not doing cross the pond. We're doing our own long haul event. God help me, Chad. Sunday, 3.30. 
You guys, you guys need to put down the vapes today, okay? Not me. It ain't me. You guys need to put them down today. Uh, we're still above profile, 1,000 feet, by the way, chat. Bring this down here just a little bit. And we are direct Delta Bravo 434. No, we're descending 14,000. Man, I thought we were doing JetBlue Ops in the PMDG. <laughs> Fuck. That's what I'm saying, man. Don't take away my drugs. Uh, what's the effort again? <laughs> and people what's say I need to stop Tarbab smoking Tango weed. Alpha, You're Bravo, fucking right. Tango, climb two, climb Go crazy. Keep going with the ground spoilers. And, uh, Why do pilots enable dual autopilot CMD with an ILS option is not, uh, is not available in simulators? Why do pilots enable dual autopilot command while ILS? This option is not available in the simulator. Yes, it is. You can enable dual, and what that what that is that's for auto land. So if the weather's you know they're landing into weather, they're unsure if they're going to get a visual. You would arm autopilot A and B, which would command an auto land. Essentially, is why you would do that. This guy's busy. We need to pay attention and not miss any calls. We're doing the special long haul elite ultra fun with the bean boozle. <laughs> What's the odd amper used for? I sometimes notice it auto turns off in the PMDG. Shouldn't auto turn off. The odd amper is up here, and it's exactly what that is. It, it, it dampens the yaw. 119 I believe you said for Ryanair 4 Tango Tango. 630, have a good evening. Thank you for the ETC. Bye bye. Have a better one. Goodbye. All right, 119 or 630, good, Unicom, not Unicom. Who's this, Bremen? 119, I think this is approach. 119, 630. Shamrock 7 8 speed, it was speed 256. 256, Shamrock 7 8 speed. Shamrock 7 those well, go on. Right Everybody, right there's a guy in chat who always loves to tell me that I forgot my yaw damper, even though it's part of after start checklist. Um, approach to low runner, 4 Tango Tango, flight level 190 direct, Delta Bravo 434. Runner 4 Tango Tango, arrival, good evening, identified in 4 Alpha, expect 25 right, descend to flight level 100. You have information Alpha, we'll expect 25 right, we'll descend flight level 100, Ryanair 4 Tango Tango. What's the weather in Canada? It's nice in Florida. Uh, not very nice here today. It's kind of kind of cold, to be honest with you. I'll throw that. We can Andy for any air, for any weather. We have a weather bot in chat, so you can put exclamation point weather and then the city. If you want to grab and see what it's like at the airport, you have to go exclamation point metar. Uh, the weather for me right now is it's 46 degrees Fahrenheit, 8 degrees Celsius. Wind is blowing from the northwest at three mile an hour. And 79% humidity. Gross. Rock 7 8, this kid is at altitude 5000 feet, QH1017. Down to 5000 feet, QH1017, Shamrock 7 8, Miski. Rider 5 to let Papa descend to flight. Weather Elmer, who's in Elmer? Bonjour, mon ami. Comment ça va? Moi, je vis à dans Elmer. Salut, bonjour. Monsieur Jarvis. I can't wait to see his face when he sees me again in Las Vegas and I hit him with the Monsieur Javis. The straight look of disappointment on Mr. Jarvis's face. <laughs> it's always a great time, man. 
the, the disappointment, but like, oh fuck. Wanna go have dinner with this guy tonight? <laughs> Speaking French, I'm from Quebec, so that's a W, may we? Monsieur Jarvis. I'm going for uniform server inbound Delta 465. He wasn't staying at our hotel last time, so he was lucky. He got to like dip out when he was tired and stuff. Just go home. Did that, nope, nope, he's at the Rio with us. Now he's stuck. He's stuck. What do you use for the clouds? Default, man. Default clouds? Default clouds and it costs the base game of the simulator. Good tricks. What's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Oh, sorry, 100. Better sleep. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well, man. From Germany, I heard that. I heard that Germany just legalized marijuana. The Rio is about to get destroyed. Those brand new rooms, Mark. That's the one thing I'm excited about, to be honest with you, Mark. I was just concerned about like trying to find like a nice place to stay in Vegas that wasn't like run down and beat down. Um, so the fact that we're getting in those brand new renovated rooms, that's that's the big plus to me, man. I think we should enjoy it. Hey, Peter, what's up, man? Good to see you, dude. Welcome back. Hope you're doing well. Zcap, sorry I'm late. We almost done. By the way, I'm excited for the GE90 engines on the PMDD Triple Seven. So am I, man. I really hope we get a little, a little taste of the sound set that they have planned on the PMDG. But I'm really hoping the sounds are nice. Level seven zero, Ryan Air Fort Tango Tango. Seven thousand feet for us. Uh, does anybody remember what transition altitude was here? Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Winds are 300 degrees at 6 knots, good. Temperature 12, dew point 1017. Uh, transition level 5000. Okay. Was it 1020? Ten seventeen. Bug that up, get that ready. Ten seventeen. Bug that up, good. All right, and I'll bug this guy up, get him ready. Ten seventeen. Pre-selected, and I'll just get this guy set. 1017. Good. Very good. Cap, do you think Active Sky can fix crazy wind behavior? I'm not sure, Diego. I'm not sure, man. If you're having crazy wind behavior on final, try turning down your turbulence in game to like low or medium and see how that goes. What was your first PC specs or console? My first PC? First PC that I ever got was I got a gaming laptop when I went into university. About uh, 16, 17 years ago. I got a gaming PC, an Alienware gaming PC. This thing was an absolute beast. Uh, my first ever computer that I built had an i7-4790K. That was the first one. So that was about 11 years ago, I think. About 11 years? Yeah, about maybe a little bit more than 11 years. 10, 11 years. 11, 12 years maybe ago. It was like the first gaming PC I bought. Built. And got all the parts together. Built it. Did you cram all the beans that into your mouth? No. We saved them for next week. We have a, a, a bunch for next week as well. Bottle of my mind, some people think the 7.3 sounds are wrong or off. I think they're pretty good. There's probably a little bit more buzzsaw, Tom. It's the only thing that I would say. A little bit more buzzsaw in real life, but other than that, they're, I would agree that they're, they're perfectly fine. Uh, transition level was 6,000 on the ADIS. I believe that's for departure, Callum. 
as we learned First last week or the following week. Um, transition transition altitude on arrivals will always be the same. Transition level for departures may change, but transition altitude is always the same at 5,000. We learned that last week, which is funny. What is the worst and best flavor? Five thousand feet, two thousand feet or greater, one zero one seven. Ryan Air Four Tango Tango. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go level change, two thousand feet per minute. Throw out the ground spoiler. He wants us at two thousand feet per minute. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go two thousand feet per minute on vertical speed. We're going to burn off as much of this speed as we can. What he's doing is he's getting us so he can vector us in right here. Cap, what's the mod you use for the cockpit to look like that? It is called the wear and tear. Wear and tear mod. PMDG 737-800. Present heading 136-105, Ryanair. Fort Tango Tango. Right. Present Bravo heading. Uniform, Bravo, 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 four, five, two, descent to flight level six zero. Zero eight six. Bravo, Bravo, six zero, but it's for you, Bravo. And approach Ryanair four Tango Tango. Can I get that frequency one more time, please? The director on one three six seven one zero five. One three six one zero five. Thank you. One three six one zero five. I didn't write it down, and I didn't remember too many numbers. Portland director, good evening, Ryanair four Tango Tango nine thousand, uh, descending two thousand feet per minute. Ryanair four Tango Tango, direct identify, turn right heading one zero zero. Right turn one zero zero, Ryanair four Tango Tango. Okay, now one one seven. Why are you reducing right. speed? You were supposed to maintain speed two three zero knots. Okay, now one one seven. We were told to do clean, minimum clean speed. Transition level is for arrivals in Europe, cap and transition altitude for departure, it says. Is that what it is? Okay, that actually might be correct. So transition altitude for departures levels by ETC, is that what that is? 220 knots on the speed will descend 4,000 right there, 4 Tango Tango. Right, so he wants 220 at 4,000, so now we're going to switch to level change out of vertical speed because now what the aircraft is going to do is it's going to maintain a level pitch. Right turn 220, cleared ILS, 25 right, Ryanair, 4 Tango Tango. All right, 220 on the altitude. Sorry, Jad, this is coming real quick, trying to explain. 220, good, coming in. We need to get some frequencies bugged up too. We haven't done that yet. Um, ILS frequencies for us going to be 109.9. 1099. Flip that up. 1099. Good. Our front course is going to be 245. 4,000 to intercept. 4,000 to intercept. Right now, Right. So now we can arm our localizer. We do have our glide slope, so we're perfectly fine. No problem there. We're descending 4,000 now. We could actually switch to vertical speed. We could do about 1,000 feet per minute just to stay on profile. Ground spoilers can go in and armed. Uh, minimums. This whole approach came in so quickly. 354 on our minimum. We'll set that, 354. Good. Alpine 84, Uniform Bravo, direct now identified. And do we have tower online? EDDB tower. Okay, now 117, speed 117, maybe? 17 miles out right now. We can arm our approach. Localizer captured. There's glide slope. Transition altitude is always on the departure charts. 
Transition level set by the ADIS confused me for a few times, but I understand now. Got you. Okay. Cap, can you look outside the plane? I wonder if your ground textures are good in Germany. They are. Yeah, they're really good. I actually love flying in Germany. Some parts of Germany are a little bit mm, but I would say the most most parts of it are actually really well done. That makes sense, Jay, to be honest with you, dude. Question yeah. Uniform Bravo, turn left heading 300. 1017 across the board, good. Rhino 4, Tango Tango, speed 170 knots or greater until 5 miles final. 170 or greater until 5 miles, Rhino 4, Tango Tango. Alright, I'm going to bring my speed down to 190. We're at 14 miles out now. I'm going to go flaps 1, just to help maintain the speed. Go. In Europe, we like to make sure that you can't understand the charts and make everything really complicated. I agree. Yeah, for no reason. No reason at all. Stay off for now. Those can go on. That can go on. Good. Cool. Let's hope we have a nice arrival into your chat. I'll find 84 unit from Bravo at 5, able to intercept by an 8 mile final. 84 unit from Bravo, 8 mile final. I'll find 84 unit from Bravo, Roger, turn left heading 280, descend 2500, cleared, I'll let's run my 2 left. For uniform bar, turn left and two eight zero decent two thousand five hundred clear alles pressure on two five left. Found the stars in the US are harder and more complicated? Not even a chance, dude. There is one star and one SID per like arrival. It's so easy, dude. It's so easy. Europe Europe and, and it's just overcomplicated for absolutely no reason. Every runway has 15 to 25 SIDs and stars. Rhino oh, 4, man. Tango Tango, contact tower, 120, decimal 030, good evening. 120030, thanks for the uh, ETC, have a good evening as well, Rhino 4, Tango 3. Uh, 121130 is what he said? No. What was it? Sorry, can I get that frequency again for Rhino 4, Tango Tango? Rhino 4, Tango Tango, frequency 120, decimal 030. 120030, thank you. It's not what it's showing up as on, but I know it's because it's got different frequencies. You're down! 170 till 5, so we'll bug up 170. We're currently 7 out. 170, flaps 15 degrees, give you a nice wing view of that coming out. Beautiful. Tower, hello, Ryan Air 4, Tango Tango, ILS 25, right? Ryan Air 4, Tango Tango, Bella Tower, good evening, wind 300 degrees, 6 knots, from 25, right, clear to land. 25, right, clear to land, Ryan Air 4, Tango Tango. Okay, cleared to land, all of our lights are coming on, ground spoilers are armed, auto brake is set. We're going to maintain 170 till 5 miles, V approach speed's going to be 151 today, chat. 151, we are looking good. Remember guys, if you haven't done so, do me a huge solid. Don't forget to smash down that thumbs up button. Finishing off today's stream strong. We are going to be live again tomorrow doing some Transavia Ops out of Paris Orly. Very excited for that one. I love Paris Orly scenery. It's absolutely fantastic. And I believe we're going to go over to Prague. And then from Prague, we might do the return flight or we may continue on somewhere from Prague. But I'm not quite sure. Let's go final approach speed now. We're through 5 miles. 151. Flaps 25. Flaps 30. Give you a beautiful view of the flaps coming out here to flaps 30. Good. Let's go ahead and grab our replay tool. We'll start the replay. Good. Throw this over to Yoke Cam. Guys, enjoy the arrival. My throttles. My airplane. Let's have some fun, shall we? Sounds are up. Enjoy. Freeware Orly, uh, let's say it's very bumpy. Now I have the Payware Orly and it's fantastic. Really, really, really like it. 1000. Alpine 84 Unicorn Bravo, Bailey Tower Hiller. Alright, we're vacating to the left, chat. And we're parking to the left as well, so nice and easy. A little bit of crosswind in 10 knots. Maybe expect a little bit of rudder correction before touchdown. Nothing too crazy though. Aircraft feels great.
Can you fly the E321? We don't have one, dude. As soon as we have an E321, don't worry, I'll fly the hell out of it. 400. We don't have an E321 currently. I'm waiting for the Phoenix E321. Approaching minimums. 200. Minimums. Continue. 100. 50. 40. 30. Slight correction, land. hold it. Good, goes down gently, reverses route, maintain center line. Not bad. A little bit firm, but not bad. Manual braking. 70 knots, reverser stowed. Taking it here to the left. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to Berlin. Not bad. Could have been a little bit smoother, but I, I love the rudder correction. Sorry, can I get that stand one more time via Victor 4 and Foxtrot? Stand Alpha 04. Alpha 04, thank you so much. Alright, Alpha 04. Uh, I'll zoom that out. I should have had this ready. Right, he wants us on Alpha for Foxtrot. So we're going to keep going this way. Victor for Foxtrot. Okay, we're going to go this way, up here, all the way to the left. The scenery is terrible on performance. It's not very good on performance. Now, it's kind of like Brussels. Uh, Brussels, it's not very good either. Um, alpha 4, walk in, no, should know we want that, okay, good, cool. Yeah, it's definitely not, uh, not the best performance scenery, that's for damn sure. Right, and we'll make a left up here onto Foxtrot. Can we see this with no frame gen? There you go, right there. 25 FPS, 24. Not very nice, is it? Very nice. Right up to Foxtrot, we're going. Victor 4, Foxtrot, thank you. Landing lights are coming off. Actually, let's stop our flight time. One hour on the nose, so we're a little bit early. Good. Uh, runway turnoffs are coming off. EPU's getting spooled up. Start switches are going off. Uh, position lights are off. Wing lights are off. Why have, I, why have we stopped moving? Airplane. Ground spoilers and flaps are going clean. I think we're trying to, it's trying to like put us up a hill. The uh, terrain smoothing isn't very good here at this airport as well. It's kind of bumpy everywhere. Definitely not the best rendition. Well, it is unfortunately the best rendition, but the ground textures aren't very good either. I would agree with you. Yep. Um, yeah, like I said, not the best for sure. SF, take care, man. Appreciate you being here, dude. Open eight for thank you, thank you, thank you. Tony, good to see you, man. Welcome. Hopefully, the game was good. Remember the last time you were here, you got like 18 FPS, I believe it, probably without uh, frame gen. I believe it. Right, we're going to Alpha 3. Let's go ahead and stop the. Uh, sorry, stop our recording. So we'll go and watch our replay here in a second. I felt like it was a good flight, though. You guys enjoy that one? I did. Nice little rudder rudder control there and crosswind control at the end. Felt like it was uh, a good flight. Not too floaty on the landing, either. Nice touchdown zone, 225 feet per minute. True Ryanair fashion. I like it. Felt like it was a good flight, chat. Remember, if you haven't done so, don't forget to smash down the thumbs up. Brussels is a lot better than this, I would agree, yeah. I was more so con just the performance. I get terrible performance at Brussels as well, like I do at this airport. Something about these Aerosoft airports, which is crazy because the Aerosoft Simwings Munich, I get great performance. Like, great, great, great performance. So it's a little bit weird. EPU gen is on, EPU generator is on, EPU bleed is on. Engine number two is off, engine number one is off. Anti-collision light is off. Seatbelt signs are off. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome down to Berlin. Beautiful, beautiful flights today, my friends. 
Uh, we'll go ahead and request deboarding. And there we have it. Oh, was he dancing too and we missed it? I think we missed another dance chat. Yeah, missed another one. Is there a frame gen thing for AMDs? I believe there is. Yes, I forget what it's called. I think it's FSR or something like that. But there is something available as well. Yes, there is, there is. Well, there we have it, friends. Flying Ryanair for the last two days. Did we make Ryanair proud, chat? That's the main thing. I, th I feel like we did. I feel like Ryanair is very proud of us as our virtual, virtual captain over the last two days. Had some really nice arrivals into uh, Luton and Dublin. Had great flying today. I think our arrivals were great flying into Brussels and then uh, a nice arrival here into Berlin with uh, some nice crosswind correction. Felt like it was a good one. We'll go ahead and take a look at the replay here in a second. Uh, landing rate, what was that? 225, 1.0 on the G. I take it six knots, 295 on touchdown. So slight crosswind at six knots. Uh, pitch was two degrees up with a bank, of course, as we got that correction at 144 knots. Happy with that one, chat. We're under 250. Uh, nice and smooth at 1.0 G on the aircraft as well, so you know the passengers were happy about that one as well. Cool. Let's go ahead and restart the Kutau script. Let's come down here. We'll get the aircraft in a turnaround, ready to go state. PMDG setup, panel state load. Uh, we're going to go cold and dark, sorry, final, and we'll execute that. Good. Give that a second. Let's go ahead and disconnect from VATSIM. Don't want to get in anybody's way. You thinking of flying into Poland anytime soon? Ryanair has some good network for it. They do, Harry. Yes. Um, not quite sure. I'd love to fly into Poland. Yes. Could do some lots some Polish airlines as well. So we'll see, man. Not this week coming up, but we'll see. Sir Cap Mister just got back from workout, fam. How was the landing? About to watch it back. Was good. It's very good, man. Yeah. Cap Nolan, take care, man. Hopefully, I'll see you tomorrow, dude. Thanks for coming to hang out. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. All right, let's get flaps 30 indicated. We'll make sure all of our lights come on here for replay. On, 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 on. Good. And flaps are all the way down 30, which they are beautiful. Let's hit the play button. Let's go ahead and bring this forward. We don't need to watch it from all the way there. We can watch it from right about there. We'll jump outside. Let's see how this looks from the outside view. See if our rudder correction pans out. Going to take this time now to thank my mods, my donators, and my sponsors. Thank you all so much for the support. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, today was crazy, dude. The bamboozled. Everybody showing up. Crazy amount of donations. Crazy amount of gifted members as well. So thank you all so much for the support today. Truly do appreciate it. I'm really glad you guys enjoyed these. Uh, this stream today and yesterday's stream was a lot of fun. Um, love doing some real world Ryanair ops. So tomorrow's going to be a great one as well. Uh, we're flying another airline. We don't get to fly all that much. Thousand footers, correction. That was pretty good, chat. Pretty good for a realistic landing. I'm taking that all day long, chat. Uh, maybe could have, you know, flared it a little bit harder. Gone for a little bit more of a little bit of a butter, but I think that was a great landing considering the circumstances, the way that we know Microsoft, the winds work on this airplane um, with the turbulence setting. So happy with that one. Uh, tomorrow, Transavia Ops out of Paris Orly, going to be a great one as well. The plan is to go Paris Orly to Prague, Prague to somewhere. We may go back to Paris Orly, we may go somewhere else from Prague. Haven't decided yet, but tomorrow should be just as fun. Beautiful airports, beautiful scenery. We rare we get to fly out in France, so excited about that one. Should be a great day of flying. Appreciate y'all being here. Thank you so much again to everybody else that cannot donate using a monetary value, but donates with your time and your effort being here in streams. Just want to thank you as well, man. It's not always about the monetary value. It's about building this amazing community, and uh, want to thank you all very, very much for your support. I truly, truly, truly do appreciate it. We'll be back on Vatsim tomorrow, so if you do want to fly with me tomorrow, please, please feel free. Uh, great payware scenery in Paris orly great payware scenery in prague as well uh, i think both on the orbex store if i'm not mistaken i know that prague is for sure on the orbex store i'm not quite sure if paris orly is up there but uh, i will see you all tomorrow enjoy the outro tunes enjoy the replays wing views and i look forward to catching you guys all tomorrow happy landings my friends see you.